Hey there, howdy, how's it going? I still feel like the title screen music for this game is needlessly epic. <laughs> like, I'm not mad about it. It's just, does, does it have to go that hard? I don't know, man. <laughs> it is a second mug of tea kind of day, so that's where we're at. How's your weekend been? Hey, Nelgar. I have not eaten enough for lunch, so if I end up snacking on leftover Halloween candy, don't judge me. Golden eye level of going hard, yes. <laughs> oh, and my one earring is tangled up in my other earring because I didn't bother putting plugs in today. And I still decided to wear dangly earrings because I make bad choices, which is why I need you guys to save me from my terrible decisions. <laughs> um, Cause, cause yeah, there was, this is kind of still here. Uh, there was, there was the, the lady with the sick father that we should have helped. And the, the, the guy with the kid who ran off into the woods, the second one that we shouldn't have helped. <laughs> Those are the two that I really regret at this point. Um, I don't have any proof of this, but I'm pretty sure you can't actually stop the other king from dying at the wedding. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's a lot going on there. Because um, I think it, it's just kind of necessary for the rest of the setup, right? It would be too easy to give you 3,000 troops right off the bat, right? Or six, depending on what deal you made. <laughs> oh, this mug is so warm, it's nice. You've got an assumption, do I want to hear it? Sure, go nuts, man. Tell me more. Also, out of curiosity, you said you haven't finished this, but how far-ish have you gotten into it? You don't have to remember the exact week or anything, I'm just curious. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I bought, I bought some matcha tea bags, um, because I was going to, um, I want to make my own matcha lattes, but A, I don't have a frother yet for milk. Uh, there's one on sale at Canadian Tire for like five bucks, so I plan on getting one soon, but yeah. Um, but, but yeah, I, I, I put the tea bag in the water and it actually only told me to steep it for 30 seconds, but I left the bag in there while I was drinking it because I like bitter tea <laughs> and strong tea. Um, but, uh, just no flavor, basically. Just a, a very minimal botch of flavor and I, I'm upset, so I clearly need to get loose powder, <laughs> so... Nalgar, uh, you only skimmed over the VOD, you don't think I'm anywhere near, uh, or you still think I'm far from week 32. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I think I'm on, like, 12 or something at most. I'll, we'll, well, obviously, we'll see when we load in. Uh, Nalgar, your assumption is the other king dying is pr uh, presumably fixed story. Yeah, I think so. Like, I didn't, all of the things, like, I, I did a Google search to see if it was something that you could prevent, and all of the links that I looked at, I didn't actually click any of them because it was all, they were all marked, like, end of game spoilers, and I was like, no, okay, never mind, I'm just going to assume that you can't save him. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, uh, and, and, like, it is, yeah, it's the setup for the rest of the story, so I would be kind of surprised if it's not, Garen, like, uh, the required, but yeah. Okay. Apparently I need to sleep more or less today. Eyes are still crusty. It's very good. Extre extremely good, actually. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I don't know. It's been a decent weekend for me. For, for, it was supposed to have lightsabers this weekend, but it got moved. So we're chilling today, which is nice. Because around Christmas, having an entire chill weekend day is not exactly common. <laughs> uh, so I'm enjoying that for today. Um, but yeah, ho hope you guys have also had a decent weekend. Um, yeah. That's it. I don't have any news. I don't have anything exciting to go on. Um... This upcoming week, it would be nice to find some, like, Christmassy themed things to do, but, uh, uh, I'm not sure that 
I can or that we're going to. I don't like that. Like game wise, I feel like there's not a ton of Christmas stuff going on. We could do Fixmas, but we've done Fixmas on stream before, and like there haven't been any updates really to it. Um. Although I don't know that we finished it. <laughs> I don't know if my update five Christmas factory would still work though. We we could check, I guess. Um, but yeah, the week after this one uh, is the the actual like week before Christmas. So that one I want to be aggressively Christmas about. Um, so I think I am going to save the lake and maybe dredge DLCs for that week. But at the same time, I don't know because we only have three streams that week, and uh, I don't know. Uh. I don't know how long the DLC is. Uh, I should probably check. I should probably check before we do anything, but yeah. Uh, Elaine, hey, how's it going? Hope you have had a good weekend. I'm blathering in circles. Cause I don't, I don't know. I don't like jumping into the game like instantly unless I'm like super duper, like I didn't want to stop playing last time. Kind of thing. No kitties at the moment. Babu is curled up on the couch and Lily uh, was in in the reading chair in my bedroom and then I went in there to get ready and she cried at me and jumped up on the bed with me and then curled up there so I suspect she's probably gonna stay there but it would be nice if she came down so I don't know hopefully hopefully she'll get lonely and come visit <laughs> Uh, but yeah, th sometimes on the weekend like their pattern is a little bit different than weekdays so I, I don't know I'm trying to remember if we often have kitties on Sunday or not, but I honestly don't remember. <laughs> it's probably yes and no, depending on the day, frankly. So, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't have news. We're approaching Christmas. I think I'm mostly ready for that to happen. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Um, and I've already got lots of decorations and stuff, so I don't know if we, we need more decorations or not. I, um, I am going to Canadian Tire tomorrow, so maybe I will try and find a, uh, fake tree garland to, like, wear. Um, chatting a bit is fine, for sure. I just don't have, like, <laughs> that much to chat about. <laughs> um, I feel like usually I have lots to say, and right now I, I'm just... I don't know, I feel surprisingly re relaxed, which is a little weird for me, but also nice. I can't complain. <laughs> mm, yeah, H had, had my my monthly game night last night and uh, that's, that's all I had up this weekend. So yeah, it's kind of weird. I did, I did make a pumpkin pie for that. And then boyfriend forgot the whipped cream and then the pie stuck to the pan. And people still complimented the taste, but I was upset. <laughs> pumpkin, pumpkin stuff is my thing, and it was all fucky, and I was sad. <laughs> Elaine, as much as you hate needing them, you're glad you got antibiotics for your sinuses Friday. You're definitely starting to feel better. That is, that is good. And like, I also hate needing antibiotics, but like. If you're doing it every now and then because you actually need to, it's not so bad. Like, I mean, mind you, I hate what antibiotics do to the rest of me, aside from whatever I did bacterial infection or whatever there is. Um, so there's also that factor. <laughs> Take your probiotics, I guess. Um, but yeah, like, it's when people are like, I have a cold, give me antibiotics or I'll throw a fit. It's like, mm, um, mm, uh. that's, although, like, I've never had a doctor that would actually give you antibiotics for that, but apparently some people do manage to get antibiotics for viral shit because they're idiots. I, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I also hate eating them, so I, I do try to avoid it if I can, so understandable, but at least, like, you're probably not contributing to any super bugs here, so. To, to take only when you need them and take the whole course, right? So <laughs> you're drinking crazy amounts of kombucha. You don't precisely like it, but you can tolerate it over the stomach issues. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I want to like kombucha so bad, but it, it just, even the stuff that sound like that is flavored and the flavor that it's supposed to be sounds fantastic. It just tastes like apple cider vinegar and I just can't, I just can't drink it. <laughs> 
I want to, but I can't. <laughs> like, probiotics are like the bottle of pills in the fridge thing for me, for the most part. Um, garbage Gamer also can't stand kombucha. Yeah, yeah, like, I, I, it's good for you, and I want to like it, but I just don't. <laughs> and yes, hey, hey, Garbage Gamer, how's it going? Happy, happy weekend. I, is it is it weird to say that when it's like halfway a little more than halfway through Sunday? I don't I think I we, we can still enjoy the rest of our weekend even if it's only a little bit. <laughs> I still have a no, whole nother more than a week until I get a haircut, which I mean, this is still kind of here, but also I'm getting real fuzzy. <laughs> um probably going to cut off some of my poor sad fried ends when I do that, because, like, this shit dry. <laughs> Elaine, sometimes you add a little water to tone it down. It's just about the only probiotic that works for you, and you'll take it over another C. diff infection. Extremely fair. Extremely fair. Um, yep. Yeah, no, C. diff is no fucking joke, so ex super, it would be fair even without the C. diff, but extra fair <laughs> with that factor. Uh, is it 1 a.m. on a Monday? Then, yep, still a weekend. See, you get me. <laughs> I mean, for for me, the streaming kind of makes it less of a, a weekend, and then I don't stream on Mondays. Um, I mean, mind you, I do, like, errands and stuff instead on Mondays, usually. Or at least that's what I tell myself. Sometimes Monday really is the only day that I ever do nothing. Just because, like, I'll, I'll, I'll have all these plans to get a bunch of stuff done, but then half the time I'm just like, I'm exhausted. I am just going to not. <laughs> so we'll see if I get anything done tomorrow. But I do plan on getting milk frother so I can make matcha lattes. Except I was really thinking that I could do that with the tea bags I bought, and uh, now I'm really doubting that. <laughs> so <laughs> you wish you could do nothing on Mondays? I mean, fair. I just choose to do not nothing on Sundays, so that's the alternative, right? But yes, I I am spoiled that I get to make my own schedule, this is a fact, and, and yeah, everyone hates Mondays, but I don't, so it works for me. <laughs> I mean, it, it just makes Tuesday Monday-esque, I guess, but whatever, it's fine. Um, and at least I finished most of the work that was, like, super desperate to desperately needing to be done last week, so that's good, at least. <laughs> hey, Nate, big bog to you too. How's it going? I don't, I don't know what that was, but it turned into a stretch, so let's just go with it. Oh yeah, that was good. <laughs> okay, shall we, shall we make terrible decisions? king of terrible decisions. Uh, Nate, you're exhausted. Mood. <laughs> Sir, this is a Wendy's. That's pretty quiet. Sorry. I just have it down so that the music isn't super loud. But hey, Bankbos, how's it going? <laughs> Garbage Gamer, don't get you wrong. Uh, you love the fact that you have a job that's stable and life-sustaining, but damn it, Mondays suck. I, yeah. And like, that's the thing is I, I also worked in an office for quite a long time. <laughs> um... And so I fully get it. I really do. Because it, it, it applies in school, too. And, like, yeah. But but office job kind of stuff. Any any consistent job that's, like, 9 to 5-ish. Or any... Just if your week starts on Monday, Monday's fucking terrible no matter what. So, yeah. Uh, and the exhaustion seems to be the general consensus. Yeah. Like... I feel, like, actually chill today for once, but, like, a sleepy kind of chill. <laughs> and, and yeah, like, Friday and Saturday, I, I just, like, felt hollowed out is the only way that I could describe it and, like, how exhausted I was. I just... There's, there's just nothing left. <laughs> so... Uh, Elaine, you have a couple friends coming over tomorrow to help you clean out the mountains of Amazon boxes and stuff so you can actually get to your garage and storage areas. Whoop, whoop. It's a pain in the ass, a lot of work, but hey, that sounds like it'll be a very nice result at the end, and it's always nice when people come help, so 
Melgar, you got a minor delivery box graveyard as well. Yeah. I I try to break the boxes down and recycle them like once every week or two, but some of them end up being claimed by the cats and I even if they have four other boxes, I feel really bad throwing out a box that <laughs> that they're like, "Mother, I love this." <laughs> so, I uh, I am a slave to my cats. This this is just they they get what they want most of the time unless it's probably wanting to eat the christmas tree so yeah <laughs> uh, garbage gamer you would love to work four 10 hour days so um and now you're planning to clear uh the delivery box of graveyard off on your time between the years yeah that's you see that's the thing is we always plan to get lots of stuff done during the holiday downtime and then there's too many things to cram in there and you can't can't do them all hell, Emperor Pabu. No, not if it involves ruling the tree. <laughs> uh, but so here's the thing about that garbage gamer. Um, I, considering the statistics on like productivity and output and stuff, I think that we should have a four day week of eight hour days. Fuck this work the same 40 hours just over four days bullshit because nobody is actually productive for an entire eight hour workday and that would be even worse if it was a 10 hour workday and like productivity just keeps going up and up and up and up and and yet we make less money and work more <laughs> like no fuck that work less <laughs> and yes yeah nate also immediately said work for eight hour days yeah yeah no they don't fucking need us to work 40 hours a week they should pay us I mean, I say us, even though I'm not working that kind of job anymore, but, like, yeah. Pay us the same amount of money for one entire less day of work, period. I don't want this fucking convert it into 10-hour days bullshit. <laughs> You're nice. Fight for the four-day work week. But, yeah, like, all, all of that, all of the things get done anyway. And, like, if people are better rested and have a three-day weekend, they are more productive during the f four days that they do work. So I guarantee you that if the vast majority of businesses that don't at least need to be open for customers or whatever the deal is, I don't know. And all those office jobs, I guarantee you productivity would not go down if we just did four eight-hour workdays and paid people the same amount of money. Period. Like, there are maybe some industries where it would go down a bit, but I doubt it. <laughs> Because I know that I would have been a hell of a lot more motivated if it was a four-day work week but didn't demand that I work an extra two hours every day. Yeah, fuck that. Uh, also, Garbage Gamer does not apparently get holiday downtime. <laughs> oh, sorry, buddy. Uh, and Banquist is hiding the 18 model kit boxes currently in your office. Are they empty, though? Have you made the models or is it your pile of shame uh, in that you haven't made them yet? <laughs> And Nate, nothing in nature is 100% efficient. Why should we be? Yes. Fuck that. Don't, don't bitch at people showing up three minutes late because there was traffic. Don't bitch at people for spending an extra five minutes chatting in the break room, making good relationships with their coworkers. Fuck this. Fuck it. <laughs> four hour, four work, four, four day week, eight hour day is still. Fuck that shit. Period. That's, that's, yeah. And Elaine, all the productivity gains have gone to the CEO since the late 70s, early 80s. And yeah, and it just keeps going up. And we, and the, the, the wages and time worked do not reflect it at all. That you're waiting for the hospitality to indus industry to overhaul. I, I would be very curious what kind of overhauls you would uh, push for and support in the hospitality industry. Because like, I can imagine some. <laughs> But, like, given the customer-facing side of things, I feel like I don't have as good of an idea of how you would do that because I haven't actually worked in hospitality. So, Nate, you want to go back to restaurants, but you're not going back for near minimum and 16-hour days. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. So if, you're, if you just even want to start with the massive amount of unpaid overtime and terrible wages. Yeah, fair. I, I kind of forget about the, you know, 16-hour days if you're actually, like, working in the kitchen and stuff. Because that's just insane. That's, that's too much. And doing away with tipping culture, also very good. I, uh... Like, at least we have it a little bit better in Canada because we don't have a law that lets them pay us three bucks because they get... because tips. Um, but, like... Yeah, I, I definitely can understand how that would still 
make it so that they are like, here's minimum wage, enjoy, you get tips, you're not allowed to bitch. So, yeah. <laughs> and it is it is also just sh shitty, because then you get like these all these like high and mighty conversations online where people are like, if you can't afford to give a 25% tip to your server, you can't afford to eat out at all. And I, that's just... Like, in this, in, in parts of the states, I feel like that's true, but also it's so, it, like, it's just so classist. Like, if you're poor, you can't have nice things. Fuck you. And obviously restaurants are not the only place where that applies, like, that mentality, but it's bad. <laughs> like, Jesus. So, uh, Elaine, it's because your tipping culture didn't come from trying to not pay freed slaves. There's probably a significantly less direct connection there, but I don't want to give Canada too much credit without having looked into that myself. <laughs> um, and still, paying people minimum wage, we just don't have that extra bullshit minimum wage for me, but not for the rule. Um, I don't know. Uh, Nate, then open only the days that you have enough staff for. Like, you only have enough cooks to run a restaurant well for four 10-hour shifts, you open for four days a week. <laughs> Nate is agreeing to not give Canada that credit. Yeah, no, nope. Like, we, we took in a lot of freed slaves, but that doesn't mean we were good to them. <laughs> um, or, you know, have a, a separate awful issues. But yeah, I, I, there are still many ways in which I'm proud to be a Canadian, but like, uh, a lot less than I used to be. Like, the, the older you get, the more you learn, the, the more you're like, oh no. <laughs> Oh no, the fact, like, and so many Canadians are like, well, we're fantastic because we're so much better than the States. And I'm like, yeah, but have you looked at a whole bunch of European countries that are significantly better at a lot of these things than us? Or, you know, not even just European countries. A lot of different places don't have a lot of the bullshit that we have. And um, being better than, like, the worst developed nation on the planet in, part, in terms of caring for its people. It's not a point of pride, y'all. <laughs> That's just the bare fucking minimum. Um, uh, and Nate, I, I agree. Like, yeah, if you're not willing or able to pay staff to be open all days or all hours or whatever, then you shouldn't be open those hours, period. You shouldn't be expecting workers to work overtime for not adequate overtime pay. And yeah, yeah, it's just like that, that whole fucking argument. Every time like raising wages go up, there's always like people are like, well, the small businesses will die. Why won't you ever think of the small businesses? And I'm like, first of all, it's not just the small businesses that need this. And I guarantee you McDonald's can fucking afford to pay their workers better. And uh, two, if you can't run a business, whilst giving your employees enough money to live, you do not deserve to be a business owner, period. Period. Like, <laughs> like you don't have to be giving people incredible, like, to buy a ton of luxury shit salaries, but if they can't feed themselves and pay their rent and their bills and have a little bit left over to, like, exist as a person that deserves to have nice things in their life, which is everybody, then you shouldn't be a business owner. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Do better at business then. <laughs> and sorry, Elaine. Uh, so you're talking about the whole the slaves thing in tip culture. Uh, it was a direct one to one in the U.S. Tips were uh, insulting and shameful until emancipation, and then suddenly it was okay only in the industries where freed slaves worked. Yeah, that tracks. That does, in fact, track. That yeah. Yeah, so I, I doubt that it was that one-to-one -one in Canada, but I, I definitely am not willing to say that it wasn't also a big reason here, because, like, whether it was women or, or freed slaves or just any person of color, surface jobs like that are, are overrepresented by people or by minorities. Or, I phrase that terribly, but... <laughs> Yeah, I, I would absolutely be shocked if it didn't have a lot to do with that. So, yeah. Uh, Nate, you can't handle the attitude around local businesses. If you have to exploit people to make it sustainable, get bent for real. Exactly. I mean, I know I already said that, but yeah, no, fuck that. Fuck it. Fuck you. <laughs> like, uh, 
And, and like my dad owns a business and he pays his employees well over minimum wage because they're the people, they keep the business going. They're, and I mean like, to be fair, it is also skilled work, but like, he wouldn't have a fucking business without them. <laughs> so, and, and, and everyone deserves a living wage, period. So yeah, no, fuck that. Not, and like, I don't know, I feel like, like Growing up where I did too probably also contributed to it because, you know, that town, like everyone and their mother thinks that they can be a fantastic business owner and then they open a business and then it goes out of business in like six months because they're actually fucking have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> and or or it, or it takes a few more years and they just keep reducing the quality of their stuff to lower costs because they can't afford to exist because they didn't plan properly or know what they were doing or whatever. It, it, there's a lot of factors. But yeah, I've just seen a lot of people think that they were capable of being good business owners and just absolutely fucking blow it in a way that dragged other people down with them. And I have... So I absolutely do not have respect for just small business owners as a class. Like, no, I have respect for small business owners that actually pay their people. <laughs> Um, and aren't exploiting people, whether it's their customers or their employees. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, Elaine, it's interesting, you saw a video about the absence of public cafeterias in our current food culture. A hundred years ago, they were an economical way for working urban and suburban people to feed themselves, often cheaper than cooking for yourself, and they just don't exist anymore. I... You know, I don't actually know if I actually knew that that existed. Like... Uh, it doesn't at all seem like a far-fetched concept, but I don't know if I've ever heard of that. And yeah, that sounds like it would be fucking great. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. That's a real bummer, but also in terms of capitalism, it's not surprising that that's not a thing anymore. Uh, Nelgar, I don't know what went wrong. I exploited my employees and worked them to the bone. <laughs> exactly. That's the thing is, it, like... A lot of these people can't even fucking hack it when they are exploiting people. Like, Jesus Christ. I mean, good riddance if you can't, but like, Jesus. <laughs> okay, I am absolutely happy to, to continue ranting about labor and, and fairness and, and society in general um, whilst we jump into the game about being a king. <laughs> Which is some d delicious irony uh but I'm, I'm a benevolent king uh and garbage gamer okay so maybe i won't jump in yet because that's the whole paragraph um it's very simple if you're so afraid of your local shop is that your sh local shop is going to disappear because big evil walmart is running them out stop shopping at walmart and shop at said small stores they might not have everything be a little more expensive because they don't have e access to stuff as easily as walmart yeah, I, I realize that there's more to that. <laughs> more, more coming. Um, but yeah, that is also that. And like, I can't blame everybody who shops at Walmart or Amazon or whatever because some people don't really have options. Walmart has been incredibly successful at driving out other businesses uh, that could be competitive in any sort of way. Uh, but yeah, yeah, embrace making a few more stops. <laughs> If you want these shops to stick around, you have to actually support them. Uh, there are a lot of small businesses where people will be like, Oh yes, I think this is a great idea. We'll totally support you. I'll totally shop there. And then they don't. <laughs> so like, you're not allowed to complain if you're not contributing. But And yes, Nalgar, I try to help those in need. There was that one time that I didn't and I still feel guilty about it, even though... Okay, I, I, it was on Friday. It's, it hasn't been that long, but I still feel guilty. <laughs> um... But yes, yes, let's do the thing. Okay, yeah, oh yeah, we're on week 11. Although, haha, -ha, I was right. I was guessing 12 and that was close enough. Well, actually, I guess it is technically spot on. Um, so yeah, I, I haven't done the stables because I don't, because there's still a bunch of things on the map I need to explore. So I, I don't feel like I have, and I've only got one general, so I don't feel like I can actually take advantage of that yet. And training grounds, I want to have more than five gold left, so. Nelgar, I'm a good king, except on Fridays. <laughs> I just made the wrong choice, okay? 
I didn't know what the consequences were. Garbage Gamer just saying do business better means nothing if no one goes there because said place is easier slash cheaper. Yeah, I mean, that is also completely fair. There, there are multiple angles to this. And there always are. And yeah, cheapness and convenience tends to win out, which is kind of a shame in a lot of cases. Because, yeah. And I do really try to support local businesses. I just also try to make sure that they are the ones that are not exploiting people. So... It's hard. It is especially hard with restaurants because exploiting people is the fucking norm. <laughs> um, yeah, it's complicated. But I, I, I do still buy shit on Amazon sometimes and I feel guilty about it every single time. But like a lot of it is stuff that I just really can't get here. <laughs> Or, and also I, I don't have a lot of money. So sometimes it is just, I cannot afford it anywhere else. But also I try, I still try very hard. I don't shop at Walmart unless I absolutely have to. Things like that. So, but yeah, you're right. It is a web of problems, Garbage Gamer, and it is not that simple. But also I don't feel bad for anyone who goes out of business because they were, they couldn't pay people a living wage. <laughs> uh... Elaine, that's kind of why your systemic change uh, requires regulation and enforcement to make the change happen everywhere all at once. Yes, exactly that. We cannot just... That, that is also a very good point. We cannot just rely on business owners to do better in a system that in some ways is also exploiting them. <laughs> um, but yeah, if, if we... Because yeah, you're, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. Um in a lot of those situations and there have to be ways to make it so that the playing field is still equal, right? But yes, okay, anyway, onward. I love that when for like the first five minutes of the stream, I'm like, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't have anything to talk about. What am I doing? And then <laughs> it's a half hour labor rights rant. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> So anyway, okay, uh, but for the record, I don't remember any of the voices that I was doing on Friday. I will try, but I, to be fair, none of them were consistent on Friday anyway. <laughs> I, I think I got uh, the Aurelia's, his, um, whatever, his wife. That voice was fun. But anyway, Oof. excuse me. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pee real bad in like half an hour because of how much tea I've drank and how quickly. <laughs> Our investigation is not going. It's not going at all. We have a tooth and that's it. That's all we have. So, I have found this animal tooth, but I don't know how it ended up in our castle. I have prepared, yeah, you, yes, there's a table. I should invite lords and ladies. Who knows? Maybe we'll be able to learn something from them. Remember that they might not always tell you the truth, Your Grace. And while we're inviting them, we should try to form alliances too. See, like this is the thing is like I'm not I'm not good at telling when people are lying to me. <laughs> Especially in a video game, but also in real life. So mm, this might be rough. A nearby river has dried up. The residents have been carrying water to their homes from a lake for days. I helped them with my horse and now they have extra water saved for a few days. I made sure that they knew it was thanks to the king. Okay. H huzzah! Okay, so th this guy, uh, he said, if you get this guy to start sending me spices again, I will be your ally. And so we invited the other guy, and he said, I stopped giving him si spices because he was selling it so he could buy and distribute um, uh, drugs. That, like, bad ones. <laughs> so, I'm not expecting a lot of honesty from this guy, but, yeah. How may I be of service, your grace? Uh, I'll, I'll ask the animal tooth question first, although it may be basically heroin. Yeah, I don't know exactly how he described it, but it, does, it doesn't sound good, and it's definitely habit-forming, so. I have found this in my wine cellar. Can you tell me anything about it? What is an animal tooth doing in your wine cellar? It looks like someone has lost it. I'm trying to find its owner. I don't know, Eric. Probably someone who's interested in animals or creatures, shall I say. Okay. I know why you need the spices. Your grace, I can explain. Oh my god, he's actually going to tell the truth. <laughs> 
Oracle dust is far from dangerous. As far as I've been told, it has medical use more than anything else. Yeah, sure. It's just an easy way to make some gold. It doesn't matter if you sell dust or not. It's going to get out to people anyway. If we're the ones selling it, then at least we're the ones profiting. You pa you just pass on, pass it on. Don't trouble yourself with the people who use it. In fact, I could really use your help in this operation, and in return I will always be at your service. I have a location near Beltois that has some problems with the locals. Send an agent its way and maybe he could give us a hand. Also, if anything out of the ordinary happens, then make sure I'm the first to know. We need to keep an eye on other sellers. If anyone comes selling, make sure to buy a pack or two. You, I will be able to double your earnings. If you do right by me, I will be sure to do right by you, and I'll give you my men gold and supplies. I'm not gonna help you. I'm gonna I'm gonna be straight up. Never say never. <laughs> Wait, you didn't say never. Regardless, you might still change your mind. Look, I'll throw in something extra for your efforts. Alongside 230 men, I'll throw in my hounds. They're deadly and precise. The Rodovians won't know what hit them. Oh, and, uh, I think I just remembered something about the night Talus died. I'd had a fair bit to drink at this stage, so everything was kind of blurry. But I did see someone when I was in the gardens that night, when I was watering the flowers. If you haven't already, you might want to poke around in there. So, you're welcome, Your Grace. Uh, our progress on what? Oh. I don't know. Whatever. That's that's fine. I don't I don't want to help this fucker. <laughs> Etten's offer is very generous, Your Grace. We could certainly use his hounds and army in the battle. But as promising as trading dust sounds, it could cause problems later. If we decide to help Etten, we can be sure that Lurz will cancel his offer of an army. And we should not allow dust sales. God knows what havoc's Gods know what havoc this substance will cause in the future. Better not risk it. I don't want people coming to me cry crying that they've lost family members to this poison. Of course, Your Grace. In that case, we should aid Lurz in stopping this nasty business. Send a general to Koski as soon as possible to shut down that trading site he was talking about. And if we ever come across anyone wanting to sell dust, we should imprison them for a while, just to discourage further sales. Lurz will be happy to hear this, so after we've done what, we what he asked for, we should invite him over. Indeed. Indeed, we should. Um. Wallamy. Okay. Tukaski. Okay, sent. Um. So, okay, is, uh, zero weeks? Or. So, should I invite him now? Because theoretically, it'll be done by the time he gets here? Or should I invite somebody else and then invite Lurz tomorrow? Honestly, I want to meet Lena. Let's meet, let's meet Lena. I like her sleeves. I wish to know more. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is this a new pet you're hiding there, silly pickle? You. Your grace, may I introduce you to the Stabber? <laughs> oh no. The Hedgehog. <laughs> The Stabber? Why the Stabber? Well, I wanted to name him Hanson, but that name is already taken. The other option was to call him Squisher, but I didn't see it didn't seem like that would scare off enemies. Underneath he has a velvet yummy tummy you wish you could just stroke and squish all day. Ah, uh, but on top, on top is a whole different story. On top he's a scary, scary stiff Stabber. All right. Keep the Stabber. Very well. Keep the stabber close to you, but don't lose it, and don't stab yourself. It's not the stabber, it's the STABBER! The stabber is on a mission, and he's about to STAB SOMEONE! This kid, I love this child. <laughs> at least she'll be occupied. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. <laughs> Sadani is a great kid. <laughs> Your Grace, my village has been raided by bandits. These scum are fiercer than any others. There have been casualties. They've killed an entire family. We're counting on help from your general, Your Grace. Oh, well, I don't have a free general right now, so that's sh shitty. I need a second general. Somebody, or, or uh, something. Platoon, I don't fucking know. I don't know what these ally people are, but uh, yeah. Uh, we should keep an eye on these bandits to make sure Rodovians are not creating any further posts. If they are local, are locals, we should show them that there's no place for such behavior. 
I want to send him. I feel guilty. See, this is why I don't usually send him out until after I've talked to people, but I was foolish. I was foolish. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ready your pitchforks and keep your eyes open. Maybe they won't show up again. We would feel safer, safer with a royal army at our side, but I understand. I'm sorry. I feel so guilty. <laughs> See, this is this is my problem. When I'm not benevolent, it's it's unintentional. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Imprison anyone who's selling Oracle Dusk and close it at uh, Kasky. Uh, Lord Etten tried convincing the king to help him with the trade of Oracle Dust, promising large amounts of gold in return. There are two th uh, Okay, so Lord Etten asked us to buy Oracle Dust from sellers and visit Beltoise and help with the Oracle Dust trade. No. Influenced by her sister, Sidani finds another pet. The king was unsure whether letting her keep the hedgehog was a good idea, but he knew that it would break Sidani's heart if he didn't, especially now that Dusty isn't here. I, I also miss the kitty. Let's be honest. Um, right. Pietro's still just happily chilling in the dungeon. Okay, I didn't, I didn't decide to ignore it. I had to. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel terrible. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> oh man. Oh, okay. Okay, but but what's his face told us to check in the garden? So Uh This paving stone looks like it was moved. If I could get something sharp and thin to lift it. Hmm, a sword would be too thick. It needs to be something smaller. Uh, but <laughs> use the tooth. <laughs> I don't. Hey, Asali, you got anything pokey? You're a, you're a you're a prankster brat, right? Huh. I do not know where to go to get something to use on that. But I am afraid of what happens if I don't do that soon. Aha! A needle! Yes! Okay. Sorry for stealing your knitting needles, Aurelia. <laughs> Darling! Lord Etten visited me. It turns out he's trading oracle dust and wants my help with it. Lord Lurs doesn't approve of the business. He thinks it's bad for people. Both of the lords have promised to lend us their armies if we help them. But really, I don't know what to think about it. Well, do you really think that people selling dust or s that selling dust is bad for people? Um, it does have side effects. If more people start using it with no regulation, we could have problems. We don't have enough resources for, or doctors to deal with things going wrong. But then again, it might also be that nothing bad happens. What do you think? I mean, I hear God's servants use it, so I'm sure it's fine. After the war with Fredovia, if things are going wrong, we can always stop supporting it. And... Thank you, sweetheart. I guess it's worth thinking about. It's fine, dear. Let me know if you need to discuss anything else. Okay, bye. Um, I don't... Ch yeah. I... Don't you dare tell me I'm not sorry, Delgar. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Okay, but... I got it. A piece of paper. Oh, it appears to be some sort of letter. It has a map of the castle. It reads, Find wine in the cellar. Mix it with seven drops of the substance in a glass. Be seen by no one. It looks like an instruction letter to whoever poured poison in Talus's wine. It's beautifully decorated with some flowers. We don't usually decorate our letters. It would be too costly. Maybe we can trace those drawings to the person who has written this. Interesting. Interesting. How... How would I... How would I go about doing that? Sidani and her hedgehog. <laughs> Question suspects. Seek expert. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> I don't I don't really know how useful this table is at this point in time, but alright, whatever. 
Oh, apparently I still have things I can say to her. Oh, well, that's right. I have more in investigation info now. Darling, I have a lead on the investigation. I found some clues that might lead us to the person who's behind Talus's death. What have you found? A letter. I found this letter in the gardens. It contains instructions about pouring poison in a wine glass and a map of our castle. The letter seems to be decorated with flowers, like in the olden days. How can we trace this letter to whoever wrote it? This is a very important piece of evidence, Eric. As a, ask a general if he knows of anyone who decorates their letters in such a manner. If he's available, he'll probably be at the wall. Okay, but I don't think he's available, so... I probably should put on the more exaggerated king voice. I just can't exactly remember what it was. <laughs> yeah, he's not here. <laughs> okay, fine. Because uh, the earlier we get the training grounds, the better. I just wanted more than five gold. So I do think that this is a rough choice, but I do also think that it's probably the right time to make that choice. Grifno, week 13. Lady Lena. Why do you have a broom, Asalia? Dear father, my husband, King Ivo, is very good to me. He has done everything to make me feel at home. I spend most of my days reading books and learning about Atana. King Ivo wishes me to grow familiar with their traditions. We start each day with a prayer, followed by a rich, lavish breakfast. Later, I learn more about the history of Atana and its geography. Last week I met Paloma, the king's mother. She's poorly, but King Ivo says he will continue his father's quest to find a cure for her illness. Yours, Lord Sulian. Ivo certainly wants his wife to understand their ways. I'm not sure I like it. We should ask Lord Sulia about something else. I can't remember which one of them wanted me to ask about Ivo, but I'm sorry, uh, Sidani, we'll get to Dusty eventually, I promise. Ask her about Ivo. What is he like as a husband? How is he dealing with his father's death? And say that I wish to give him my condolences. Mention that we are working on finding the murderer. Very well, your grace. I will write her a letter. We should anticipate a reply within a couple of weeks. Hello, Stan. Your grace. The situation got pretty hot. It wasn't impo it wasn't possible to avoid bloodshed. Nonetheless, we have secured Lord Etten's dustwares. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Now we definitely need to invite How do we not have Oh, right, cuz I have to talk to her first. Um I I'm gonna, I'm I'm going to be right back, folks. I'll be right back. Please Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm allowed to do this. I need to talk to Stan before I send him out again. <laughs> Your Grace. Have a look at this letter. I found this in the gardens. It has a unique decoration. Do you recognize it? No, Your Grace. I've never seen seen such elegant writing, neither. I can ask around to see if anyone in the village knows anything. Do you want me to? I don't know if that's worth it. Maybe not now. Uh, we can wait with this. Maybe another time. Just let me know when, Your Grace. Okay, uh, we might end up doing that this week, but... And yeah, how does he need two weeks for that? That's a great question, Nelgar. I would also like to know the answer to that question. <laughs> okay, Lena. A pleasure to meet you, Your Grace. And my biggest condolences about Talus. Although I didn't like him at all. Anyway, Lurz has explained your situation to me. I believe I can help. For something in return, of course. You see, you have something I want to give my son. Hmm. Someone, actually. I would like your daughter, Asalia, to marry him. I believe this would greatly strengthen our relationship for years to come, and as a start, I would lend you my army. 300 fully equipped and trained soldiers, all ready to stand against Rodovia. Along with the men, four gold and five supplies. So, what do you say? Um... How do you get more generals? That's an excellent question, Elaine. I would like more generals. <laughs> like, I don't know if I can super afford it, but I would make it work. <laughs> um, I need to talk to Asalia first. I will need some time to think this through. 
Oh, of course, darling. Take as much time as you like. Just remember that Rodovia won't be waiting for you to get ready. Ha 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 Also, I need to find out if anyone else wants to marry Asalia also. Which, I mean... I don't like treating my daughters as political pawns, but also, I don't know if I have a choice. <laughs> Us, what are you doing here with this brush? Mother made me sweep all the corridors. Oh, yeah. Why? What did you do this time? Nothing. As, tell me what you did. Nothing, I swear. Your mother will tell me what you did if you won't. I had better start sweeping before she finds me. <laughs> okay. Oh, Azalea. Ugh, I'll never finish here. <laughs> this child is such a troublemaker. My name is Olivia, your grace. I come from the forest. I'm the leader of the Cult of Trees in the Western Woods. I know I'm probably not welcome here, but you are my last hope, your grace. I've asked all of the neighboring villages for help, but they despise my god. In the middle of the forest, we have a sacred oak, and because of all the recent rains, the area around it has flooded. A stream of water keeps running all over its roots. We have tried stopping the water, but we don't have the appropriate tools. Our people need this tree to pray to, your grace. Without it, they are depressed and scared. I can't bear to see them so helpless. Please help us, your grace. I really wish that I c that it was supplies that I could give them instead of gold. Um, fuck it, we ball. <laughs> You should find someone you in the market that you can hire. Oh, your grace, thank you so much. I've got to say, I wasn't expecting you to help us. I'll make sure our people know about your good heart. I hope your tree is going to be all right. You can ask further what, Melgar? Oh, oh, I, I could have, oh. So if I had asked about the praying tree, I could have maybe gotten other options, yeah. Well, unfortunately, you can't just... Well, I mean... I guess we could theoretically redo this day. <laughs> is, that, is that super cheap? <laughs> Probably just lore, though. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't know that it would actually give us any other options. Whatever, it's fine. I, so I'm just afraid of picking a response that locks me into not helping them is the problem. Your grace, a traveling merchant here. I'm selling rather exclusive wares if you're interested. Silks, perfumes, books, and decorations. Whatever your royal soul might desire. Something tells me you might be interested in far more delicate merchandise, though. I've a knack for these things, am I right? Tell me more. I'm listening. Oh, how fantastic! Yes, yeah, he. I just wanted proof that he's selling dust before I yeet him into the dungeon. Uh, Nalgar, if it fucks your options, then you can reload without remorse. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. You see, I have something very precious here. Satisfaction for the most disillusioned pleasure seekers. Some say it's a perfect cure for when you don't feel particularly inspired. Others may use it purely for recreation. It is very good, generally, if you're going through a bad spell, your grace. I have one pack of dust for just seven pieces of gold. If you attempted to grab another sack, I might throw it in for only five gold. There would be two whole packs for only twelve gold. Now, if that's not a deal worthy of your royal bottom, then I don't know what is. Yep. Believe it or not, straight to jail! <laughs> yeah. I mean, not that I have the money anyway, but your place is in my dungeons! I won't allow oracle dust in Davin. Your grace? But there's nothing wrong with selling a few packs of sugar dust! What other pleasures were you thinking about? Oracle dust? I've never heard of it! How dare you lie to your king! My guards will take care of you at the exit. Bye. <laughs> I, uh, I, I do feel like I need to fix my prison because I think that's now three people in one cell, which is great. <laughs> Why? I think we should check in with Lurz, Your Grace. We might we have done some tasks for him, so he might be ready for an alliance now. I guess it's a good thing I didn't invite him this week. <laughs> um, okay, so I can't actually talk to Asalia about the whole marriage thing at the moment. Which is less than ideal. Darling? What did Asalia do? Oh, yeah. 
You made her sweep all the corridors in the castle? This must have been serious. Oh, Eric, she's behaving worse and worse as she grows up. She convinced one of our servants to practice sword fighting with her. Oh, God. It didn't end well. The servant ended up with a huge cut on his cheek. You shouldn't have let her play with swords, Eric. I know I shouldn't have, but I feel that if I had said no, she'd still do it in secret. I know, Eric. We need to pay more attention to her, especially now that Luli is not here. Uh, what do you think about finding Asalia a prince? Lady Lena came to me with a proposition. Asalia? She's still young. I thought we wouldn't have to think about it until after the battle. I know. I wasn't really sure what to tell her. She was offering her support in the battle if we agree. We need as much help as we can get, but I don't want to let Asalia go yet. I'll leave this decision up to you, sweetheart. I am kind of assuming that this won't lock me into anything, but... Because I'd have to actually say no to Lena herself, I assume. I I just feel like it's probably not the best offer I'm going to get. And also it's weird that she's like, oh my god, she's still so young. And it's like she's a year younger than the one you were just like, oh, you're old enough to be sold off now. <laughs> the first marriage went terribly. I don't want to repeat that. She's going to have to get married at some point. I know. This isn't entirely fair, but I don't want her to get married to a stranger. We'll find her someone more appropriate after the battle, I'm sure. That's a relief. It's hard to imagine losing two of my daughters in one year. You're not losing, losing them. They're just getting married. I know, I know. I'll invite Lady Lena and let her know what my decision is. Okay, so that might actually lock me into things. I don't know. Uh, after questioning the dungeon guard, King Eric has inferred that someone entered the wine cellar in the big wedding night. Uh, okay, uh, hidden lot, yeah. Yes, I imprisoned the dickhead. <gasps> it's a Lily! She did decide to join us. your bonk. Oh, you didn't bonk. You just stepped on my mouse. Good good work, hun. Yeah. <laughs> Aw, baby girl. Where are you going? <laughs> to you too. <laughs> Always with the lily butt. I I I do want to actually make a dancing cat butt emoji at some point. <laughs> and she's just making sure we all see her butt. Yeah, I mean clearly. Yeah, you lay down. Back sleep. Princess Lily. Okay. We'll sleep. We'll sleep. <sighs> yeah, so apparently I have in fact decided that it would be best to decline Lena's offer. Aurelia wasn't too keen about giving another daughter away. Bad ideas. Uh, yeah, just deciding that it's to decline the offer. Yeah, now there's three of them in there. <laughs> Don't know what to do about that. Hello. Your Grace, I can't bear this place. Please let me out. I didn't know your grace disapproves of the dust. I thought it was like any other consumable product. People get sick because of this stuff. Everyone who sells dust in Davern will be Davern will be imprisoned. You'll stay here till Lord Lurz arrives. Okay. Are you feeling any better, Pietro? Yeah. Okay. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Um, okay, so I need to decide if I want to send this guy out to Wallamy. 
or if I want... Whatever, I'll do this. And if I, I, I'll have him talk to the townsfolk or whatever next time. I don't know. Maybe. Or send him out on some other task. I'm unsure. I don't really know where we're going to land on this. I don't know if there's any point in, like, wandering around to see if I can find stuff or not. I don't, I don't know that I can. Yeah. I don't know. Because, like, the, the crystals are about conversations, mostly, so. Um, army upkeep has gone up to five, which is a bit of a bummer, but that's okay. Um. Yeah, can't do the stables right now, but that's all right. I need more generals and or servants of, of various sorts. The craft will flourish, no man can stop. In the middle of the night we shall meet, for the dust spreads fastest in the sandstorm. What is that? Can you make any sense of, out of it, Audrey? I'm afraid just as much as you, your grace. Something tells me it's to do with the oracle dust, though. We should pass this on to either Lurz or Etten. It's your call, your grace. It's, it's We're definitely working with Lurz on this one. Oh, baby. <laughs> she curl up. <laughs> And then she side-eyed me. Because she want pets. <laughs> Your grace, a nobleman visiting a local village had problems with folks stealing his goods from him. He asked me to find those responsible. The search wasn't hard, and I brought them back for justice. The nobleman was very grateful, and he paid me with this gold. Sweet. Nice. Alright, that was worth doing. <laughs> hey, Larry, what's up? Let's go. Uh, start with I found a letter because yeah this letter is on very decorative parchment do you ha know where it could have come from decorations hmm maybe it's more like a page from a book are you sure it's a letter yes I'm sure it's a letter I can't help in that case I know of no lords who illustrate their letters okay done your tasks I have done as you asked Wonderful! We have stopped the growth of Etten's business. Oracle dust will still be about, but we definitely helped reduce its spread. Unfortunately, there's a s small problem in the way. With Etten not buying my spices, others have turned their backs on me as well. I can hardly make a coin now. That's why I had to start trading with Rodovians. Uh, are you mad? That's supporting our enemy! We're going to war with them! I suppose so, but they're helping us too. I'm sure that's not an easy decision for them, either. Your Grace, the bottom line is I need gold, otherwise I won't be able to sustain my armies. The only other option I see is if you bought the spice- if you bought the spices from me. I'll need monthly installments, though. I need to keep my business running or else I, mu I must wrap it all up. If you don't like any of those options, then I suppose we need to part ways. Three gold a week. Is it gonna- is it gonna fuck me over if I let him trade with the Rodovians? <laughs> Cause like if it's spices and stuff, and they're they're giving us money that they're spending on spices and not weapons, maybe it's a good thing. I don't know. I, I make bad choices, you know this. Bad choice confirmed. <laughs> as long as they keep paying, then I'm game. Oh. Great. Well, you will see, your grace. It won't change a thing. Secret yeah. message. Two hundred army, baby. I found this message. Ah, perfect. Uh, oh, oh, okay. He didn't have anything to say. I, uh, um, yes, Nalgar, I do want a hint. I always, I almost always, well, I always like hints. Not almost always, always. <laughs> okay, maybe not always, but mostly. This alliance gives us many benefits, Your Grace. We should expect an increase to our income at the end of the week. Fantastic. Your Grace, I come from the tavern. The business was going so well, but lately I've had some troubles, and it's all getting out of hand. The tavern became a great place for everyone to gather and have a good time, but some local panders saw an opportunity to use this place to find customers. At first it was fine, just some girls lurking, lurking every now and then. Now the tavern has turned into a brothel. People are only visiting for the girls. 
Although my sales have gone through the roof, I've got to say. It attracts customers, but the panders essentially took over my tavern. And the, as the end, they cause all sorts of trouble, as you can imagine, Your Grace. Almost every week, I have to deal with these disrespectful disrespectful violent men i'm scared they'll soon take over the tavern completely and leave me with nothing on the other hand if i kick them out they'll just relocate to another pub i'll lose all my customers and we'll have to close down uh oh god i don't know oh too late now but 3g a week isn't that much later on i mean fair it just doesn't feel like it at this point so we'll see we'll see if it's a problem <laughs> um I feel like telling him he should be happy with the extra money because I'm making money from it also. <laughs> but, like... Uh, you think you handled this badly as well? By this you mean the Rodovian spice trade thing or this particular issue with the tavern? Because <laughs> I don't know how I want to deal with this. Because he's right that they'll just go somewhere else, but... <laughs> Oh, the spices. Yeah. Fair enough. You say handle badly. Jeez. <laughs> Judgmental. Because uh. part of me is like, you should be happy with the extra money, but get more guards. But the whole, like, get more guards, here's some coins isn't an option. So. I am tempted to say you should be happy with extra money. <laughs> Let me rephrase, not better than you. I mean, fair, but we also don't technically know that that's the better option. But I, I, I don't know what the consequences are, and I'm not sure that you you do either. Because <laughs> you're also not at the end battle. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever, I'm doing it. If you throw these people out, you'll risk having to close down your tavern. You should try to work with them so you can both profit. That's a good point, Your Grace, but these men are horrible. They really don't treat the women very well. I don't want to support them, unless there's a way I can control the situation. Why don't you hire your own guards? I could, Your Grace, but they're very expensive. Okay, ha <laughs> sweet! My sales did go up, but not nearly enough to cover full-time guards. I, w I wanna do it. But I don't have, oh, come on, I'm too short. <sighs> well, this fucking sucks. I have no way out of this unless I, like, reload two weeks ago. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, yeah. Our kingdom budget is very tight at the moment. I- I should have- I should have told him to come back. <laughs> come back next week? <laughs> I want to help, but my resources are limited at the moment. That's fine, Your Grace. I'll come back in two weeks' time. Okay. I just need to have 28 gold two weeks from now. Okay. At least, I'm glad I gave the option to de defer it, at least. Your Grace, I came to you, come to you with a special request. To turn Stabber into a prince, I need to lift his curse. I've researched more into it. I think you're the youngest one of us who can read, Sidani. Well, I mean, Dana could read it for me. I already love him as hard as I can. I squish and tickle his tummy all the time. But now I need to make him rich. Your Grace, may I please request one piece of gold? I'll pay it back, I promise. A piece of gold to make the hedgehog rich? Hmm. Yeah, sure. Here, one piece of gold. Don't lose it. Thank you, Father. Your efforts will not be forgotten. I also need to find a black rooster with a saddle. Do you know where I could find one? Oh, my silly pickle. I honestly don't know. That's fine, my king. I shall find one myself. <laughs> okay. It's so weird that she calls me my king and your grace. Like, I'm your dad, child. Ow. <sighs> we need to make investigation progress.
please do it dis discreetly and don't mention it's about Talus's death. We don't want anyone to find out we have a lead. Come and see me in the throne room if you find anything. Yes, your grace. Um, yeah, I would need the stables to have more shit on this map anyway, so that seems like the right time to do that. I don't feel like I'm ready to invite Lena back yet. Ugh, it would have been good resources, too. Yeah, I mean, I guess she is maybe the only person I can actually broker a marriage with, but I don't know. I don't know. More ladies with pretty sleeves. That's the, that's, that's the mood. That's the move. Let's go. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's fine. Uh, okay, so did... Yeah, Lurs took the dust dealer dickhead. So, okay. <sighs> Army upkeep has jumped a bunch, <laughs> which makes sense because we got Lurz's army now. Uh, it is now on pace with our main uh, taxes amount of supplies, but we're getting more from other things, so that's good. I'd like to get the stables, but we can wait a couple weeks for that. Cool. Ooh, pretty dress. Okay, that might just be her arms and not sleeves, but still, pretty dress! Dear Eric, I hear that I'm already too late to marry your daughter. We had some struggles, but we'll be ready within 14 weeks. I believe we can explore other options, and I hope that you will keep your promise. Bayron, the king of Rodovia. Ooh, 14 weeks is not that long. <laughs> but also, it's, it's, it's reasonably long. Uh... <laughs> They know. They will come to get another daughter. Boy. Fourteen weeks? Boy. That's too soon. Boy, we need to gather an army. We need to make alliances and, ho and hope Ivo will help oh. us. Fourteen. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, he, oh, 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 boy. Um. You're awake. You gave us all a big fright indeed. Rodovia is coming! Fourteen weeks! We need to make allies prepare for battle! Calm down, you're fretting worse than me! Everything is going to be fine, we have plenty of time to repair. The doctors say you're worrying too much. If you were younger, it wouldn't be too much of a concern, but at your age, you're more prone to the effects. You need to take care of yourself. How can I do that? We have to prepare for the battle! We have no army! Yes, that we must, but you need to keep calm. Everything will be fine. Go on now, you still have work left to do. You're right. I'd better get on with things. I was not... Yep. I was not expecting that to be problematic to <laughs> read that first, but... Yep. Your Grace, I hope you are fine. I'm feeling a little better, yes. Did anything happen while I was gone? No, everything's the same. About the letter. We need to focus on gathering as many allies as possible in the next weeks. Invite lords and see how we can make alliances with them. While we are doing that, we should also focus on these evidence items for the royal trial. Question lords and see if any of these things lead us to the killing. I don't mean to cause you stress, but we only have 14 weeks. Of course, Audrey. I agree, we shouldn't get distracted with petty matters. Let's get to it. Okay. Okay, Violet. Oh, I get it. Violet. Uh-huh. Uh -huh, I get it. Your Grace, I hear y'all fight with the beast-faced. We are preparing for the battle with Rodovia. You heard well. My name's Violet. My elders have fought with the beasts many years before me. I heard they brought some Rodovian dog here to your castle. They say you keep him in the dungeon. I want to help you with those nasty beasts. I'll give men and resources. Three gold and 150 armor in exchange for the red dog. No, no dog, no army. I cannot make it any simpler. Uh, why do you need him? Why would you need him? Ahem, <laughs> him. <laughs> I'll teach him a lesson is all. I reckon we should make an example out of him. Show his dog brothers what happens to those who step a little too far. That will keep them at bay. I mean, see, I kept him. I knew I kept him for a reason. 
But Pietro won't have his buddy anymore. <laughs> Do as you please, but you can spare me the details. Fantastic. I'll take it slow. Make sure he knows I'm there. Oh, one more thing, Your Grace. My deal is off the table if you ever help any of these dogs. Make no mistake about that, Your Grace. Um... Does the whole spices thing count as helping? Because I, um... Anyway. I found this in my wine cellar. Can you tell me anything about it? Whoo, that's one bit of a tooth. Tis beautiful, is all I can tell you, your grace. I'm sorry, I'm not much help. What about the sweater? Because I doubt that it was her. The letter was on very finely de decorated parchment. Do you know where it might have come from? Let me think. Tis not from my lands, your grace. It ain't signed. That's strange. Strange and rude. Uh, who does she hate? Does she want- Yeah, she wants the Rodovian prisoner, that is correct. Oh, yeah. That would be all for now. Aye, your grace. I don't know what she would ask for if I didn't have him, because it was absolutely an option to not have him in my dungeons. <laughs> uh, did I- I don't think I invited Lady Alita. Oh, uh, is she- uh, She's not even on this list. Okay, that's interesting. Very interesting. Your Grace, may I have your audience, please? I want to do some fishing like I always do, Your Grace. But as foolish as I am, I, uh, I fell asleep, yes. Stupid, stupid Stefan. I always have to mess everything up. Anyway, someone took my fishing rod, and now I have nothing. Tis the only thing I had left after my wife died. Oh, my sweet Anna. If she showered a mesh I am, she'd put me right into my place. It's all my fault, Your Grace. I only w wanted her and the little kids to have a good time. So I took everybody out on my boat, and then the storm came, and, and it just flipped the boat upside down. I swear I didn't know, Your Grace. When I woke up on the shore, they were all gone. So I wait every day, and I fish to pass the time. But now I don't even have my rod. Please, your grace, spare the old man. If I could ask for a piece of gold, I swear I'll buy a fishing rod and nothing else. <laughs> I, don't th I don't think it's the same drunk guy as before. I don't think giving him a single gold is going to hurt me, but at the same time, uh, I don't want to get scammed either. <laughs> You guys are supposed to stop me from getting scammed. That's your job. <laughs> Help. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. Yeah. <sighs> Whatever. It doesn't hurt me to Google. Buy the new fishing rod, but don't lose it again. It'll get easier. You should try to sell some fish, some of the fish on the market to keep your mind off things. Thank you, your grace. I'm forever grateful. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I I know I'm getting scammed, but it's fine. <laughs> Gold for boots. Yeah, okay, it was the same guy. Yeah, I mean... Like... He's probably just gonna go buy booze, but yeah, scammer days indeed. But whatever, it was one gold. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, to turn the hedgehog into a prince, Sidani asked the king for one piece of gold. The king agreed to give her the gold she needed. Sidani also asked where she could find a black rooster. With a saddle, don't forget that part. Uh, Violet's past clearly informs her decisions. Her resentment of Rodovians means she will only aid us in battle if we do everything we can to show them they are not welcome here. The lady asked us to pass the Rodovian prisoner to her so she can do whatever she wants with him. King Eric agreed to this deal. So I guess it's like if... If when the, the king or what's his face comes for like peace talks, if I help him, then she would bail on me. But I don't know. Um. Oh, I mean, they announced a war. It kind of sounded like they announced a delegation, but all right. What does this fucking merchant have, man? 
Lady Alita. I have heard that Lena has made, a pr made you a proposition. I must say it's good that you haven't agreed to it, Your Grace. But do not make the mistake. Do not accept her offer. This marriage cannot happen. It seems to me that you don't know of the curse that plagues Lena's family. Curse? What curse? They say that if her son does not participate in the act of marriage before his 20th spring, he will fall asleep and never wake up. Is there a way to lift the spell? There is. That's why Lena is desperately looking for someone to marry her son. To lift the bane. The problem is, you can't completely get rid of it. If her son gets married, it is, it is said the spell will move on to the bride and she will die the following night. Are you willing to risk this? Hmm, interesting. Thank you for this information. You're most welcome. I would strongly reconsider Asalia's marriage arrangement, though. I will consider your advice, be sure. I mean, I was gonna say no to it anyway, but that's interesting. <laughs> Your Grace, I have come to tell you the water from the oak has cleared. Our people hadn't prayed in or confessed in weeks. Oh, they're so happy now. I brought you something, uh, something small as a gift. It's a bouquet made from the oak's fallen leaves. I saved them from last year. It will bring love and luck to your throne room. Well, thank you, I think. I hope it really does. I'll just leave it by the window. I have some small concerns, but... This oak bouquet is supposed to bring me luck. Yes, apparently. Uh. Yeah. Oh, Olivia, return after the king helped her clear water from the oak tree. I was very grateful and left a bouquet. Okay. Sir. Don't think there was anything else yet. What do you want, bud? Your Grace, I bring you a special thing of magical splendor. It's only worthy of a royal. No one else deserves this magnificent being. Your Grace, I present to you my magical cock. Oh my! <laughs> Don't let your eyes fool you. This ain't a regular cock, Your Grace. This cock has been enchanted. I like. Why is it capitalized? <laughs> It can tell a lie from a truth, your grace, and when it senses a lie, it will voice its dif disapproval. I believe it would be a real asset to your throne room. It will help you lead better than any advisor. See, I'm no liar. The cock stayed quiet. How can I be sure this thing works? Try it yourself, your grace. Tell a lie or a truth. Okay, well, it being quiet isn't going to fucking tell me anything. My name is Audrey the Fourth. And it's my real birthday. See, I wasn't lying, Your Grace. So, how much do you want for this thing? Only 18 gold, Your Grace. It is a very good price for a lie detector. So, I want to buy it because my daughter wants a chicken. Am, am I stupid? Should I not let myself get scammed? for the sake of my daughter because <laughs> I kind of want to get it for the sake of my daughter <laughs> but it feels scammy <laughs> but I don't know there's I, I can't tell if this is a world where we believe in magic or where there is actual magic that's that's the thing I need the, the magic cock you know yeah, fuck it I don't know if this thing will work but my daughter would be quite happy with it Fine, Your Grace. Just make sure she doesn't lose it. Let me just set it all up. Okay, at least it acknowledges that I'm not completely stupid and I'm doing it for Sadani. <laughs> all set. Take care, Your Grace. A, f a fine saddle for a hedgehog by a rooster for Sadani. Yes. Sadani is going to love this. I should go find her later. Kaka, huh? <laughs> Well, that's fun. Your Grace. Pet stabber. Do you mind if I pet him? Not at all, Your Grace. Just don't... St uh, stab you. Ouch! Stab yourself. Yeah. Your Grace. I have something to show you. You're gonna love it. Just let me finish feeding Stabber, Father. I'll come later. Oh Fine, silly pickle. I'll wait for you in the throne room. 
I feel like I should have picked Pumpkin as a name for her. Just cause, cause me and pumpkins, but also Silly Pickle is better. <laughs> I also like pickles, so just not enough to have one tattooed on me. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, thank you for telling me I could still invite a Lord cause I kind of forgot. <sighs> I feel like I would prefer more gold over supplies right now, but also that might change. Uh, I mean, this is maybe the best balance, so sure. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's go. Yeah, army upkeep is getting concerning. So maybe I should, in fact, focus on supplies. I don't know. Um, yeah, I want to have enough money for the tavern issue. So I don't want to spend any extra. Ugh, 14 weeks until Rodovia comes. Because, like, that was the thing. Like, the final battle that you're getting ready for at the beginning is, like, a year before this. So I don't know what the whole 14 weeks thing uh, comes down to. Also, I don't know what your cursor is supposed to be sometimes. Like, this is just a pointer, but... Oy, I know we have some very pressing issues now, but oy, oy. considering last week's incident, perhaps we should think about securing an heir, Your Grace. Oy. Years are passing by, and none of us are getting any younger. Oy, if you don't have a rightful heir, Ivo will be next in line. Oy, He's not a bad person, but it's likely Davern wouldn't just become part of Atana. Um, or would just become part of Atana, I guess. We're working on it. Rest assured, Aurelia and I are working on a name. At this age, it's not so easy anymore. Of course, three daughters is already plenty, Your Grace. Let me worry about this once we've dealt with Rodovia. I mean, he, he's got a point, though. <laughs> oh, there's, there's lots of people. Your Grace, I haven't found out anything specific about the decorations from the letter, but the word is, ha but word has it that kings of the north usually decorate their correspondence to show off their wealth. Oh, yeah. Maybe some of our northern lords adopted this tradition. Thank you, General. If you find anything else, please do let me know. Fascinating. Jonas, that buffoon with the stupid red gloves, lend me some gold and I'll pay you back in a week, he said. I'll break his legs if I see him. Your grace, I le lent this fellow 20 gold, 28 gold. He said he would pay me back with interest. I know the type. Now I hear he's off to Calidur, the other end of the world, probably enjoying hot sunshine and Calidur's brothels. <laughs> yes, that's right, Bertie. Meanwhile, I'm stuck here in this rat hole with no wages to pay my men. I've got until this evening to pay them, otherwise they'll leave. Where the hell will I find a new crew then? I need this money for only two weeks. I should be able to make it up to you after that. So you want gold? <sighs> but this guy's right here and also needs 28 gold. Why are you doing this to me? Why did I invite you this week? Ah! Oh, hi! Yeah. Oh, crybaby go thunk. <laughs> so sleepy, so fluffy. Cox said it's a lie. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't sure if it was about, like, which part of it is a lie, but yeah, I, I don't... Even if I had a ton of gold to spare, I don't think I'd really want to give it to her for this one. I don't have that to spare. I don't think I can help. Besides, if I lend you the money, I'll probably end up the same way you have. I hope you find this fellow. In that case, I'm sorry to bother you, Your Grace. I guess not everyone is as naive as I was. Gods, Jonas made a real fool out of me. Okay, so that didn't get us any allies for sure, but... I don't... It's not like she said that she would give me stuff in exchange, so... Some Jonas in red gloves. So if we find him, great. Um, General has found out that the drawings on the letter point to someone from the north. Yeah, 
Yes. Okay. Hey, merchant, what's up? Your grace, I come from the tavern. Like I said before, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. 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 There you go. Take this gold and hire the guards. You shouldn't give up your tavern so easily. Yes, your grace. I'll make sure there is no more violence in my tavern. I'll be able to just throw anyone out who makes trouble. Good. Good. <laughs> okay. I'm glad that we were able to tell him to come back later and that that wasn't a problem. Uh. Tavern on a return to the king uh, today and Informing him that the tavern has turned into a brothel, the king advised him to take control of the situation. Okay, cool. Your grace, our village was on fire last week, and you helped us. We found assistance just in time. The chapel started to catch fire, but we managed to save it. I just wanted to bring you the greatest of blessings. Or I just wanted to bring the greatest of blessings to you, your grace. We are forever in your debt. Ooh, how is that a lie? <laughs> I am happy to hear this. I hope the rest of the village is restored soon. We're working on it, Your Grace. Thank you again. What's he lying about? I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Your Grace, I come to you with a personal matter. You see, I've lost my only and beloved pig. She means the world to me. I've heard that you pay gold for the ones that we have lost. Is there a chance that you could help? Um. See, this is what I get for helping that dude I shouldn't have helped. <laughs> I'm sure the general and his boys can track your pig down. Oh, um, a general? I'm sure just the gold would be fine. There's no need to fatigue your men. You don't want to find your pig? Very well. Very well. You won't get anything then. But, um, oh, I, I think I just remembered where I left her. Sorry to bother you, your grace. Whew, that was close. <laughs> Especially considering the general didn't have like a one week next to it or whatever. I was pretty sure that I was, yeah. <laughs> that was the correct choice. <laughs> Father, I was wondering if we could practice the sword fighting again? Perhaps later in the gardens? You said we could do this again, Father. Very well. I had better keep my promise then. Go on. You can warm up without me. I'll catch up with you in just a bit. Great. I'll see you in the gardens. Off she goes. I had better check up on her. A rooster? <laughs> yep. Apparently it does cry. Not always for lies. He's black! Oh gosh! You're the bestest father in the world! <laughs> oh, don't don't you do that to me, chicken! I am the best father in the world! Oh boy, you're so beautiful! The stabber's going to adore you! Thank you, your grace! Take good care of him, silly pickle. I love you, father! Oh, is she gonna take him? Oh. The, the cock was paid off, Banquo, so I don't know if it is anymore. <laughs> oh, bless her. Yeah, uh huh. I could have just, like, kept chicken for a while more, I guess, but oh well. I mean, I didn't technically ignore it, but yes. Okay. Maya? Who's Maya? Is Sally a gay? Because I'm in. <laughs> Look, I, 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 sword lesbians, okay? <laughs> yes, father? Who's this? I see you already found someone to practice with. Well, I'm not going to wait for you all day, am I? I haven't seen you before. Who are you? This is Maya. Remember when I sneaked out to the wedding party? The one you were not supposed to go to? 
Well, yes. Anyway, that's what I meant, Maya. We had fun at the wedding. I thought it would be nice if she came to visit. Your grace? See? I can never get her. Uh, I wanted to ask about Sidani. Looking at you two, I think I know why Sidani wants to stab people. Is there any chance that you talked her into it? Oh, so you've heard about the stabber! Don't look at me, Sidani came up with the name. Sidani really wanted to practice with us, but to talk her out of it, we had to come up with something else she could do. You should be happy she's not running around with a real sword, father. Fair enough. <laughs> Who taught you to fight like this, Maya? My father is a swordsman. He showed me a few tricks. And he lets you play with swords? Maya says you need to be ready when the enemy strikes. And you never know when they'll strike. Ha! That's what my father says. Your accent. I can't quite place your accent. You're not from around here, are you? Um, my parents are from Baravia. We're passing by and stopped in the capital for a couple of weeks. That's awfully far from here. Where are your parents now? They have business in the market. They let me venture around. Yes, they're ri they're traveling merchants. Of sorts. Maya was showing me some fancy sword tricks she learned on their journeys. Interesting. A tradesman who knows how to fight. I would love to meet your parents one day. Tell them they have my invitation. Thank you, Your Grace. I will pass on the invitation. They'll surely be happy to visit. My pleasure. Alright. I will head off now. Just don't cut yourselves. Just don't come screaming if you cut your fingers off. Thank you, Father. We won't. I know that, that Aurelia doesn't approve, but I also don't care that Aurelia doesn't approve. <laughs> Ugh, and now I have a general that I'm not doing anything with, which is unfortunate. Uh, maybe I should have. Um... I don't remember what the thing means. Mm. I guess I should probably invite Lena back and say no. Stan deserves some rest four day a week. I mean, fair. <laughs> enough money for the stable right now either. I mean, I might after rounding everything up, but it's risky. Hello. Your Grace. How's your mission? Oh, yeah. Did you turn Stabber into a prince yet? Huh? No, not yet, Your Grace. He loves his rooster, I think. Although he doesn't really want to ride it. I think I need to make Stabber help me in some way, so I owe him a promise. I know what I can do. Send him on a mission. Just don't do anything silly, you silly pickle. And don't hurt yourself. Yes, Your Grace. I will pet the hedgehog and get stabbed. It's fine. <laughs> Show you where I am. Uh... Yeah. I don't know. Okay. We have nothing to say. <laughs> yeah, I know there's an agent still available for orders, and I don't have anything to send him to do, so... I mean, I feel like I have to do this, but then I have no money, and I'm gonna regret that. Wish I could sell a little bit of supplies. I need it. I'm sorry. It's gonna be it's gonna be a bad decision. We might need to reload this, but <laughs> I'm doing it. Dragon Slayer. <gasps> Ooh, are you gonna know something about the tooth for me? Dear King of Davern, the western woods near Branca are not uninvolved in your troubles. An uncommon object can lead you to the sinner. Be quick, yours truly. This letter has no seal. What do you think of this, Audrey? Whoever sent this letter must have gone to great lengths to pay a scribe to write it. 
This must be important. We'd better send a general to these woods to see what the matter is. Oh I've marked this location on your map for you, Your Grace. Okay, well, I'm not gonna do it just yet, but sounds good. Of course, now I'd have somewhere to send him even without the stables, and I probably could have waited a week, but well! Your Grace, it is I! Noas- no- okay, I, I did invite him. Uh... No Noaxi the Dragon Slayer, bowing low before you, also known as Grophos the Great, Wanos the Wise, Peter the Powerful. The royal ro wedding was fantastic. Well, until, you know, the food was first class. But amongst all the pleasures, I didn't have a chance to introduce myself. Ah, uh, you're the famous Dragon Slayer? Yo, the famous Dragon Slayer! Oh yes, I'm quite accustomed to my fame preceding my arrivals. It is my pleasure to meet you. Would you like to hear about my fierce battle with the foul worm, your grace? I'm sure. <laughs> the beast was fast. Its sharp claws could tear human skin with absurd ease. I stole into its home forest with great care and planned a path to its defeat. The dragon's nest was at the very top of a mighty oak tree looking o overlooking a rushing river. The famous dragon slayer, yes. Clever as I am, I noticed that the nest was full of hatchlings, mucky little dragon puppies. I chopped down the tree while the big one wasn't there. The great oak creaked and groaned and fell straight into the furious river underneath, taking the dragon's young with it. The squeak of the little dragons carried far, and so the big beast herself appeared, desperately trying to save her babies from the brutal current she kept crashing into one boulder after the other. At last, she dragged her battered body onto the shore, but from the weakened creature was no match for my mighty arm, and the beast was no more. After all, wit and brains come before strength and fists. Remember that, kids? I mean, your grace. <laughs> Impressive, isn't it? Banquus is famous in Italy. <laughs> After that, and other adventures, of course, I traveled to Davern, seeking further challenges. So I've come straight to the king. Now tell me, your grace, what evil creatures await me here, staining your beautiful land? There, there's a monster. Peasants mention the occasional basilisk or some other monster. All of these nightmares are nothing to our real problem, Radovia. Ratovia? Well, I've never heard of such a creature. So what is it? What does it do? Emit gas? Crush man's bones under his heavy hooves? Breathe fire? Uh, what was that? Anyway, uh... Uh... Everything at once. It's an army. An army from behind the tall mountains. They aim to claim Davern as their own. An... An army? I see. Well, that is a hell of a challenge. I can help, though. They call me Grafus the Great for a reason. Over the years of my adventures, my adventurous career, I have met a lot of people. Even more owe me their lives. I will give you all I can. Soldiers, supplies. I will stand at your side in the battle. I reckon I can gather 180 men and five supplies will also come in handy, I'm sure. And in return, I ask for... Oh, absolutely nothing at all. I'm a noble, upstanding knight. I live to serve, help, and... Well, be famous! Narski, aiding the King of Davern in a real battle. They will write fine songs about this. Uh, Delgar, are you, are you, are you like, are you gonna kick me out of this game in three minutes, dude? <laughs> Steve is yelling at me, man. Ah, uh, I found this large tooth. It looks like an animal tooth. Would you know anything about it? That's an impressive tooth. It must have been one hell of a beast. Do you know where such a tooth could come from? Oh, I wish I could tell you a heroic story about feeding such an imposing beast, Your Grace. Sadly, I can't, because this tooth is not from not one from my collection. I don't think so, anyway. I wish it was, though. Can I buy it off you? <laughs> Thank you. I was getting scared there. I mean, it's, I, it's, I understand. But thank you. <laughs> Absolutely not, Noxie. I need this tooth to prove my innocence to King Ivo. Maybe after the royal trial. This letter is on very finely decorated parchment. Do you know where it could have come from? I wouldn't know. I don't receive many letters, Your Grace. I'm always traveling. Some letters never reach me. Okay. All right, sweet. Luckily, you canceled your queue for a ranked match just in time. 
yeah. And yeah, sorry, I feel bad. <laughs> but thank you. Oh, banker, banker time. I hear your treasury isn't in the best shape, your grace. I wanted to offer my services. Um, I mean, it went pretty well last time and we'd have to pay it back for an extra week this time because interest, but yeah, fuck it, let's go. <sighs> Repayable over six weeks with a 10 gold fee. I'll take it. Perfect. Anything else, your grace? Okay, bye. The Bank de Florentini is always happy to help. Taking loads feels like a sketchy choice most of the time in games, but I think in this case it's, it's reasonable. <laughs> Your Grace, I wanted to see you about my missing potatoes. Someone must have stolen them, and I think I know who it was. But they say only one request per visit, and it seems like I have a much bigger problem now. I come from afar, and by the time I arrived, I was very tired. I wanted to get some rest, and I sat on one of the fine chairs in the hall. I know I shouldn't have, but the gods have punished me already. I've sat down on some living pincushion, it would seem. It's squeaked and I jumped up right away. When I stood up, my bottom was all covered in spikes. And not only that, but I feel very ill, weak even. I fear that the chair creature has poisoned me. What can I do? The stabber. The stabber? Oh no, it sounds very serious. I'm not sure what we can do here. I think I might have something that will help. Name's Alina, your grace. I know about brewing potions. I can help with magical anomaly anomalies, diseases. I dabble in wound healing also. A witch? Aye, some may call me that, although I prefer to see myself as just a well-read woman. Why not, not butterflies? Why, 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 Chester? Uh, at your service. We could definitely use someone like this to help with our people, your grace. They would be a great addition to our roster of agents. Catch! What do you hope to gain from this? Of course, there's always something people want in return, right? I'm a simple woman. All I need is a roof off my head and something to eat. In return, I'm willing to lend your kingdom my aid in any supernatural problems. I just want to help people. Thank you. Welcome to our castle in that case. It's my honor, your grace. I will also be able to help during the battle if you need me. Sedani won't be happy about the stabber. I'll let her know. I mean, he better not have killed the hedgehog. That would be upsetting. <laughs> I'll see if you have any useful books in the council chamber, your grace. You'll be able to see the expenses for the witch in the weekly summary, your grace. We can just pay her whenever we need her. That's great. Fantastic. It's time for magic. Your Grace, Pendel, our village, has been raided. There were men dressed in red and black with a beast's head pierced by a spear on their banners. That's a Rodovian army for certain, Your Grace. This means they are getting closer to us. Or perhaps they are just teasing us. Teasing? People being killed, maimed, and enslaved is just teasing? Your Grace, it didn't look like an entire battalion. It must have been just a small squad. Send us your men. We can fight back. You're clearly emotional, but we have to look at the bigger picture here. If we fight them off, they will certainly get angry and fight back with more force. We don't want to start the battle early. And tolerating their attacks may encourage them to carry out more. Your Grace, we have to do something about this. We can't just let them trample our lands. I can give you supplies. If I send supplies your way, at least the rest of you who have survived can move out of the village. Come closer to the castle. These are difficult times. You need to stay out of sight. Don't go outside after dark and have someone patrolling the area at all times. Is that all, Your Grace? We're just told to let them do whatever they want and run away from them? That's nonsense. It's for the best. Believe me. Fine. Your Grace, we will relocate as close to the castle as possible. I'm sorry, buddy, but I need my general for other shit. <laughs> Mercs. Your grace, we hear of the upcoming battle. That's a perfect time for us to gain some coin and an opportunity for you to get some help. We're mercenaries, 22 skilled men at your disposal for only 16 gold. What do you say? Sure. Here's the gold. Make sure your men are ready for the battle. Thank you, your grace. You won't be disappointed. I feel unsure of that, but all right, let's go. Your Grace, I bring news about your hedgehog. Sidani, your hedgehog passed away. The stabber? Oh no, this is all 
all by his fault. I shouldn't have sent him on the mission. I knew he wasn't ready. Tell me, did he complete his mission at least? His final quest? Uh, mission? What mission? Sadani, did you send a hedgehog on a mission? Yes, an undercover mission. He was meant to scout the area, retrieve information, and return to me. This way, if he helped me, I would all owe him a promise. Just like in the story, father. Um... I really didn't think that he had died, but that's unfortunate. <laughs> you can't send hedgehogs on missions. They can hardly follow any instructions. That's why they're good. No one suspects a hedgehog. How else was I sp was he supposed to help me? Please don't do this again. Please don't send any more hedgehogs on missions. The last one stabbed a peasant and I had to deal with it. But I was so close to turning him into a prince. Now Lord Sulia will never come back. Well, I suppose you're right. Forgive me, your grace. Nothing is as elegant, as fearless as a cat, as dusty. Next time, I will find a fiercer agent. I will train him and he will be at my command. The stabber's efforts were not in vain. Oh, Sidani, my silly pickle. Yeah. Rip. Rip, rip, rip. Um, yes. Forest near Bronca. Uh, Sonny wasn't as upset about the stabber as the king would have thought. She understood it was her fault and decided to focus on finding another agent. I mean, cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, Elena, what do you got for me? Alina? Elena? I don't know. Your Grace, how can I help? <laughs> Apparently you can't. Hidden hut, huh? Uh... Uh... How do I know which one it is? Near Bronca. But I don't have Bronca on the map. How do I... How do I know which one it is? Okay, it is the hut. I, I thought so, but I wasn't sure. So, okay. Hidden hut it is. Oh. I, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe the witch would be a good choice there, but also, I don't know. Now I I please don't get killed, witch. <laughs> okay. Um. Sure. Oh yes. Do please invite a lord. I do like that the game reminds me. I I guess I should invite Lena to say no and see if there's another way that she'll give me her men. What am I doing? God damn it. Uh, which will be available during battle if we prepare with supplies. I did just give out a lot of supplies and the army supplies keep getting more expensive. So might wait a couple turns for that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's interesting. I don't... I don't really get that. I guess I could do that instead this week. 
I think that just means that I won't get an extra 10 troops next week. I think. Uh, howdy, Nova Charter. How's it going? Welcome on in. To the chaos that is this game. <laughs> okay, well, she didn't die, so that's good news. <sighs> uh, Alright. What does the general have to say? Your grace, the wooden hut in the forest appeared to be some sort of kitchen for preparing spices. It was abandoned. We searched the place and found this file hidden under the flooring. Did you find anything else? No, your grace. The place was empty, apart from lots of dried rosemary. Thank you. Okay, I mean, now I feel like I maybe should have sent the witch, <laughs> but... Some kind of file. It seems to be... There seems to be a substance inside. If this is what poisoned Talus, I'd better leave it be. Yeah. An old lady in the nearby forest needed help with wolves that kept stealing her chickens. I have quickly dealt with them, your grace. She gave me some supplies in return. Sweet. 16 supplies ain't bad. Alright, Jovan, let's go. Lord Jovan, your grace. My condolences about Talus's death. I've heard about Redovia. I will help you with them. 120 men will be at your command. I will also give you five gold. But only if Sir Frederick joins your ranks. I wouldn't want to upset him. Sir Frederick? Fr 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 Frederick? <laughs> Frederick? Uh, battle for Brianna? You must have heard. He led the defense force, repelled an army five times bigger. My superior officer. I served under his banner. Although it's been many years, we kept keep in contact. We trained together. Recent years haven't been easy for him, I must say. I mean, sure. And, um, okay. Thank you, Joker. I'll send a pigeon right away. Not to worry, your grace. I'm sure Sir Friedrich will help. It's just formality. Um. Dude. Yeah, I was gonna say. I'm pretty sure he's just gonna reiterate what he already said. I found this in my wine cellar. Can you tell me anything about it? You have an extensive library, your grace. Don't you have a bestiary you could look at? I don't think we keep any bestiaries in our library. I don't either. I think someone who has personally dealt with a lot of animals would know more about this too. Yep. Some lords use fancy paper to show off their wealth, but I don't know anyone who does that. Files have many uses today. They can be used in preparing and storing potions and spices or even as ornaments. This one is nicely decorated, but it has been used to hold some sort of substance. That's all I can think of, I'm afraid. Okay, bye. Okay, I yeah, I haven't invited Sir Friedrich yet, so okay. That one will be next then. Merchant. Oh! I was gonna say Jonas, red gloves! Your Grace, Jonas Pirkik here, a traveling merchant. I have a unique collectible item for you. A set of cards. But before you send me away, let me show you. You see, every card is depicted with an illustration of a beautiful, exotic woman. I understand the queen may not approve of them, but she doesn't have to know. Only 12 gold. Uh, Jonas, is it? Yes, at your service. Why do you ask? think you'll stay here with me. I'm going to toss him in jail and then invite Wasserface back. I thought I recognized those gloves. You're going to my dungeons. I think I know someone who wants to talk to you. This is a misunderstanding. My name is Jotun. Um, yes, Jotun, not Jonas. We should probably invite Lady Masha and tell her we found her lost friend. Yeah, I already sent off a thing, but we can do that next week. Your Grace, I have hired a couple guards to protect my tavern. They did a fantastic job, and I must say, even the panthers are wary of me now. Ha <laughs> ha! We made sure the girls are treated well and are not abused. This is great news. I hope you keep it this way. I will, Your Grace. In fact, we've been doing so well that your profits will also increase. Wonderful! The kingdom values every source of income we have. Thank you for your help, Your Grace. I wish you all the best. Turn the tavern into a public house. I'm on entrepreneur <laughs> nice <laughs> um your grace we we don't know how this happened the creature the the witch from the forest she escaped your grace someone opened her door idiot some fool was brave enough to seek the eternal wisdom we all knew the eternal wisdom was just a hoax we knew she's nothing but an old hag but some young boy he fell for the tale and now babushka is out of the woods 
Babushka? Your Grace, you don't know Babushka? She's, well, a witch, an old hag, older than anyone knows. She's been around forever. She's short and crooked. Her bony legs barely support layers of her old, wrinkly skin. She has a long, hooked nose. Her nostril hairs are so long they hang down to her breasts. Disgusting. She wears a snakeskin coat and a scarf around her head, with tiny bones attached carefully to each strand. As she walks, the bones clatter against one another. clickety de clock clickety de clock She lives in the woods, although no one has seen her for many years. The legend has it that she used to lure children to the forest to eat them. But some legends also say she gives eternal wisdom to whom is brave enough to look her in the eyes. What can I do about this? I'm not sure, Your Grace. In the village, she transcribed these words on our doors. Turn your back to the forest, your front to me. She also leaves old chicken legs on our doorsteps. We're afraid she's going to come for our children. Every night, someone hears the clicking. She might be preparing some kind of spell. Um... The general can do it, probably. Ho hopefully. Maybe he can find her. Thank you very much, Your Grace. I hope your general is brave enough to face her. Two weeks is a bummer, and I really fucking hope this guy doesn't need a general. <laughs> your Grace, more and more people gather to pray. We can't fit everyone in a barn no more. We want to build a new shrine, but we need some help inviting holy spirits to the place. We'll be in the favor of the gods. The fields will be more fertile, the monsters will be kept at bay, and the evil spirits will avoid our village. If you can aid us with the court witch and some gold to pay for the materials, people will be forever grateful. Um. Monarchy become capitalist. Yeah, apparently. Uh, I mean, if I was sending the witch, I just, like... Um... Yeah, being left with seven gold sounds kind of bad. I don't know. Especially since I need to fucking pay my loans. <laughs> she will be able to help bring positive spirits to the shrine. May the gods be with you. Thank you, your grace. May the gods look kindly upon thee. Excellent. Uh, our agent just returned from a visit to the forest near Bronca. He found a hut in which spices were prepared. It was abandoned, but he found a strange file. Uh, Sir Friedrich is Lord Joven's superior officer. It seems like his opinion matters a lot to him. Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. And, uh-huh. Yeah. Cool. Okay, the tavern business is finished now. Sweet. Oof. But hey, at least he didn't need a general, right? Oh, look, Pietro's got a friend again. Your Grace, you've made a mistake. I've done nothing wrong. You have stolen gold from Lady Masha. This is unacceptable. She will decide what to do with you. I'd better not see you selling in Davern again. But, Your Grace, I really didn't mean anything bad. Please forgive me. Yeah, nothing nothing new to say from Pietro. Like, I'll, I'll take him out of there if he wants to leave, but he's apparently fine with it. <laughs> Darling? I have found some clues that might lead us to the person who is behind Talus' death. What have you found? A letter arrived, suggesting something suspicious happening near Bronca. I've had a general explore the location, and he found this file. The substance inside could be what poisoned Talus. Its ingredients could lead us to the killer. Perhaps we'll take this file to a court witch and see what she can tell us about it. That's a good idea. I think I've seen her in the council chamber. I mean, yeah, but she's not going to be there right now because I sent her out, which is unfortunate. Shoot. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess next time I'll, I'll get there. I really got a time. <laughs> I'm not like running out of time that badly, but I but I am. Eleven weeks left, so <laughs> uh, Okay, so we are defaulting to paying for that again, which is good. Yeah, okay, things things are looking alright. Tavern business is now four instead of three. Sweet.
week 19. Senator Friedrich. At your service, your grace. I'm looking for allies. Lord Joven mentioned you could help. Ah, yes, I've heard of your troubles, your grace. Rodovians lack proper training, but gods knows what they have at their disposal. My 80 men, four gold, and two supplies will be a great boon. As a noble knight, it is my duty to help those in need. However, I can't allow liars to taint a knight's honor. Battles for Brianna, Keldu. Under my command, the army of the two-headed bird was defeated. I have lost three fingers in my time. I have endured many broken bones. But no ski, not a single scar. Even the finest swordsmen bear scars. Many have fought and died. That Noox... Noox... Noxy? I don't even know how to fucking pronounce that name. <laughs> Show me a single person who can confirm his accomplishments. Someone who actually saw him in a fight. For all we know, it's just prettily worded lies. Noxy is a deceiving liar, and I ask you to help me prove it. He didn't strike me as a dishonest man. Did he tell you the story about the griffin? There was something about a griffin in a tree. He, set f he sets the tree on fire. The big com griffin comes to save her cubs, but catches her wings on fire, drops down, and he finishes her off. No. He told me how he defeated a dragon. Doesn't matter. Same story, different details. Sometimes it's a dragon, other times a griffin or a wyvern. There's always a tree, babies, and something about his wits. Uh, what is it that you need help with, did you say? Tell him that there's a, a lichage li in, near, in the nearby forest. The creature's just a story, and of course it's not there. See what he says, though. If he brings you proof, then we catch him red-handed. Help me show everyone what he's really made of, and I will stand by your side in one more battle. Okay. I really would love, 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 love a second pigeon. That would make my life better. Mm-hmm. Okay, gotta prove that Noxie's a charlatan, which sounds fine with me. Ah, <sighs> whatever, I guess I won't call for anyone just yet. Like I guess Masha doesn't I don't I don't technically need to be in a rush to bring Masha back, but I also can get idiot Jonas out of my dungeon. Your Grace, I'm a sorcerer from the market. Your petitioners often visit me if you refuse to help them. I aid as many people as I can for very little in return. It's often not enough to cover all the ingredients I need for potions. As it stands, I'm out of most of my ingredients at the moment, and the queue to my place isn't any shorter than yours. Would you please be able to help out with some extra gold? Okay, the witch isn't here, so... Fine. Thank you for helping our people. That's very kind of you. Take this gold. It should be enough to stock up in in on ingredients. Thank you, Your Grace. I'll order everything immediately. I'm gonna regret this. <laughs> to, to you I come, a truly humble kind. I hope you f I find you well, in good shape and mind. Your Grace, this is Torlando, a writer known across many halls and taverns. Excuse me, not just Torlando. I am <coughs> Torlando the Wonderful, writer and poet recognized in all kingdoms experiencing the artistic renaissance, the popularity of whom is discussed even in kingdoms of stagnant growth, including Yelis, Calida, Baravia, and Rodovia, of which I will remain silent for the known reasons. Very well, what can I do for you? Your grace, if I may, I'm working on my latest release, but I have no clue how to finish this piece. It's a story about royal intrigues, oaths of the past, foolish peasants, and passionate lust. May I honor you with my latest work? Sure. I am open to art of all kinds. The poem is, for now, entitled Kupal Naka. <laughs> this, the moon shines so bright, high up in the sky, Kupala night is upon us. Laughter and music can be heard outside, but the weary night may not rest. Inside the castle there's no frivolous joy. The fatal matter must be solved. The night is short this time of year, so let's make the best of it while we can. Fire, pleasure, and delight will rule this night. Sure. This is fantastic. Bravo! Thank you, Your Grace. Although I am not surprised that you find this so delightful. The problem is, I I cannot continue. <laughs> I have hit a wall and I cannot write at all. I am desperate for some true inspiration. Art, who's singing? <laughs> I strongly believe that seeing your general patrolling would get my creative juices rolling. 
Therefore, I beg of you, please, allow your general to join me to get out of this squeeze. Come back another time, he's busy. I wish I could help. Perhaps return another time and I will try to keep a general available to assist you. I can see the desire in your eye to hear more of my wonderful poetry. I shall be back within two weeks. Your general will better be ready by then. Probably. Your grace, part of our village was flooded. Luckily, no one got hurt, but our homes were devastated. We could use some gold to buy resources to rebuild our houses. Yes. We have been affected by the floods too recently. Here's 12 gold. I believe that it should be enough for you to acquire the required resources. That is most magnificent of you, your grace. Thank you. I I give out way too much money. <laughs> I I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna cause myself problems down the line. <laughs> Ugh. A stretch was needed. No, oh, nothing to do this week, huh? We buy. I feel like I'm fucking this game up. Greg, <laughs> oh, I would be good. I should talk to Ada again about the crimes. I do need to talk to Lena again. And I need Masha. Come take her. Let's knock this one out. Oh, I'm so broke! <laughs> The, the both of them and a bank payment is a little bit brutal. <laughs> So quiet when she's on stream, but you know, not every other moment of her life. <laughs> Let's read our letter. <laughs> Dear father, King Ivo greatly mourns the loss of his father. The funeral took place as soon as we arrived in Atana. Talus is sorely missed amongst the lords and advisors. Together with King Ivo, we prayed for justice for his father. They say he's in a better place now. The journey home helped King Ivo clear his head and, the, and he realizes that as King of Davern, you didn't have anything to do with poisoning his father. 
Although you and King Ivo didn't part in the friendliest manner, King Ivo wishes to apologize for his words, but says that his advisors, of advisors forced him to stand by his decision. King Ivo wishes to send you support as his father promised, but his hands are tied until the royal trial is concluded. He counts on your quick investigation into the murder, which he believes will prove your innocence. Yours, Lord Sulia. Ivo. King Ivo, I still can't get used to that. I suppose no one imagined Ivo taking the throne so soon. It's good that at least he knows I didn't poison Talus. We will still need to convince his advisors and lords. They will need to see the murderer before they support sending their whole army to help Davin. We will find the one responsible, I'm sure. Let's ask Lorsulia something else. Okay, now it's time to ask her about Dusty. Ask her about the, the cat. Tell her Sidani keeps pestering me. Very well, Your Grace. I will write her a letter. We should anticipate a reply within a couple of weeks. Honestly, this this reply took forever. It was like four or five weeks. <laughs> Your Grace, I have returned from the Babushka village. I stayed out for two nights with my men. Nothing happened apart from some foxes going through the rubbish. We didn't find anything, but the villagers felt, they felt safer with us there. Thank you for the report. Keep up the good work. Yeah, I mean, I figured that that was probably how that was going to go, but I didn't want to say fuck off, so... Yep. I've helped the worshippers with the spirits, Your Grace. There are a lot of people gathering in the new shrine now. Thank you, Elena. Your help is always appreciated. I am not going to talk to the peasants until I go talk to Elena uh, about the file, but I will talk to Masha first. You have called for me? Guess who's in my dungeons? Oh, you got that little weasel, didn't you? Here's some extra gold for your trouble. Thank you, Your Grace. Sweet. Allies, baby. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Go back to sleep. What are you doing? Slobbering all over me, apparently. Does Mom need a bath, too? Yeah. Apparently. What are you doing? What are you doing? <sighs> Every now and then, you, your hand just gets commandeered by a kitty, and you gotta be cool with that. <laughs> okay. <sighs> just a moment, friends. Got this file. We found this thing. It could be connected to Talus somehow. There appears to be a residue inside. Can you check if this residue matches the poison from Talus's wound? It might be difficult, but I'll try to determine the ingredients used in both samples. It will take some time, though. Take as much time as you need. Let me just get a smear of this. Come and see me in the throne room when you find anything out. Of course, Your Grace. Mm -hmm. uh, so I should invite this dude so that I can get uh, these two on board. Still need to talk to Lena again about not letting her take my daughter. I still don't remember what the green crystal means. I know what the green and red names mean. Um, and I do still feel like I should talk to Maya, I mean Ada, about the evidence. And I also haven't invited Grego. So yeah, th these two and, and her I should invite. I want to I want to get this out of the way. That's what I've decided. Okay, anyway. Maybe that was a bad plan, but we'll sleep. I probably should have waited until after this, but no oh well. Your grace, where I come from, there's an odd fog surrounding the nearby forest. Anyone who goes into the fog disappears without any trace. A few local adventurers came forward. They said they would find the one responsible, but they never came back. We're thinking, the fog turns people into frogs. Bugs, maybe. There's plenty of them in the forest, but no sign of the people who go in there. Uh, the witch is busy, so you think I think they got lost? Oh, yeah. 
You should check the forest again. The fog might be dense, so don't go alone. Hmm. If we gather together, maybe we'll get some traces. But what if we all get lost instead? Oh dear. Yeah, I'm sorry. It does sound like a good thing for the witch to do. Uh, but she busy, unfortunately. This is my bad. Oh, your grace, my boy, my dearest grandchild. Got himself into big, big trouble, your grace. He asked me to come here, but I, I don't know where... Not to come here, but I, I don't know where else to go. He's been involved with the Oracle Dust sales for a long time now. It's harmless, he told me. Only selling to begin with, but he recently started using it as well. It was over the moon, so happy and giggly at first. He even tried convincing me to use it to relax, but I'm no lady to get involved with this nasty business. Now he's very ill, your grace. Can't leave the bed, my poor baby. He keeps asking me to bring him some more dust, but I know it's the cause of his illness for sure. He tells me it'll make him feel better. I've no heart to look at him in this state, barely moving, with his skin as blue as blueberries. Please, help your grace. I literally can't do any of those things. I am so sorry. That is a lot of money for a healer, though. Jeez. I can't help your grandson. He needs to stay strong until his illness passes. Oh, I'm just losing all the approval today. Make sure he stays hydrated and don't let him come. Let him take any more of the dust. He'll come out of it. I really hope he does, your grace. I don't know what I'd do without him. Yeah, the, I, the, the, the witch... More witches would be good, but I can't afford to pay more witches anyway, so... <laughs> I'm, I'm boned, in other words. Oh, boy. Your Grace, a rooster has been running around our kitchen for days, but we finally managed to catch him. It was a beautiful bird. We couldn't keep him as we already have a rooster, but it made a delicious broth. Oh no! You- I would have taken the lie detector chicken back, Sadani! What have you done? <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. I'm not sure where this chick came from, but it sh was surely well fed. Oh no, Zidani is going to kill me. Why couldn't you ask me first? This was my daughter's pet. Oh, your grace, I didn't know. My apologies. It's fine. I hope that she doesn't need him now that Stabber is gone. I better check on her later. <laughs> Fuck. I wanted my light to take her chicken. Well, whatever. <laughs> Sidani, so stop getting your pets killed. Hello. Your grace. I, yeah, sure. I had to let the rooster go. Rooster go. I let the rooster free. I'm sorry. He really wanted to get outside these castle walls. He's going to be happier if he's free. Thank you, your grace. I wanted to do this myself. He wasn't suited to be an agent. All he did was poop everywhere. I'm glad you set him free, father. I'm glad too. Please be careful with these animals, silly pickle. I am your grace. Uh huh. Sure, sure you are, kid. Uh. Yeah. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm <laughs> King Eric has passed the prisoner over to the Lady Masha. He'll probably get what he deserves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel a little bad about those ones, but I, I can't. Like, there's just only so much you could do. You don't have the resources to help everybody. To save Sidani's disappointment, Eric told her he let the rooster free. She approved of his decision and wasn't at all upset about it. <laughs> the rooster king Eric brought, bought for Sidani somehow ran into our kitchens and was cooked for dinner. Oh, it was such an expensive chicken, too. Oh, that's right. Uh, that guy will be back next week, so I can only have the general do a one-week thing today. Uh-huh. Yeah, cool. There are so many things going on. da da da, -da. I like how it's like zero weeks because he'll be, you know, back shortly. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so poor. <laughs> I'm so poor. Oh, no. <laughs> 
Uh, this is rough. This is real rough. I need more gold super badly. Yeah. This is, this is rough. This is, yeah, I'm struggling. I'm struggling bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Your grace, I stopped at an abandoned house on the side of the road. It was full of pans of every sort of size, shape, and color. I don't know who could have such an obsession with pans, but while I was searching through them, I found some gold. Okay, I was really hoping for more than that, but all right. Oh, I literally can't even ask her about any of these things? That's so stupid, come on. Oh, uh, part of me is really re -tempt tempted to redo last week because that's bullshit and I just wasted a week of invites. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I, that's bullshit. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, no, I, okay, I had to, yeah. Fuck, I hate this, this sucks. I'm gonna skip through this real speedy. <laughs> Sid High Queen, apparently, literally, yeah! Something like that. <laughs> hey, Sid, thanks for joining. Um, I, I'm speeding through a week of this game because I blew it and wasted an invite thingy, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh, cool, cool. S slay indeed. I, so, mm, I sent her off to do investigation stuff, but then she could have helped both of these people so maybe uh maybe i keep her around for a minute <sighs> yeah like the, the people disappearing in the forest is probably more worthwhile yeah whatever you can have the witch i hate this because I want to get the, the investigation progressed, but I lost a lot of approval yesterday because I didn't help either of these two people, so. <laughs> yes, your grandchild did Oracle Dust, and now he's in withdrawal. Um, I literally can't afford to help you, and yeah. So, sorry, whatever. Also, the cook ate my daughter's chicken that I spent so much money on. <laughs> <laughs> I could fire him, but you know, it was not worth it. Okay, so I. The, apparently, inviting Ada was a giant waste of time. Um. <sighs> I might just piss her off if I tell her that I'm not giving her my daughter, but I guess we'll try! <laughs> <sighs> okay, I gotta go so tell Sadani that I totally set her chicken free and he definitely didn't get eaten. Um, super duper not. Extremely not eaten. The chicken is very much alive and happy. <laughs> but you know, he pooped everywhere anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> okay, so that only gave me four gold. What if I try this one? Look, if I'm gonna reload, I might as well make the most of it. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. We skipped through that nice and quick. All good, everything is fine. Okay. And yeah, like I can afford the supplies. Supplies isn't the issue right now, it's gold. Your 
Grace, a local baker, was missing his flour deliveries. I searched around, and it turned out the horses and cart got stuck in the mud on the way over. We helped them, and the baker gave us a basket of fresh, crusty bread rolls. Okay, well, cool. I don't really need the supplies, and I probably would have rather had the four gold. But it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay, I haven't asked her these things. Oh, okay, so she actually does know something about the tooth. Oh, yes, I've seen something like this before. It's a charm necklace. It's an expensive thing. The bigger the tooth is, the more dangerous demons it can protect you from. I have a small one as well. You know, just in case. Many soldiers wear these as a sign of their strength, especially if they obtain the tooth themselves by defeating a monster. It brings them luck in battle. Where did you get yours from? It was a wedding gift from my father. Thank you, Lady Lena. Take a look at this letter. It has beautiful drawings of flowers all around it. Do you know anything about it? Flowers? There are lords in my area that decorate their letters sometimes. Oh, yeah. Okay, apparently they're from Lena's territory. Do you have your letters decorated too? Sometimes we do, Your Grace, but only very important letters, like wedding invitations. Oh, yeah. What do you usually decorate the letters with? Roses. We always have roses. It's a symbol of love, after all. Interesting. I found this near Bronca. Can you tell me anything about it? It looks like a potion file. I don't know much about potions myself. About the marriage. Have you reconsidered my offer, Your Grace? Uh, I have heard of the curse. Why didn't you let me know about the curse, Lena? Curse? What curse, Your Grace? Elida has told me about it. Elida? That brave little hussy. They're nothing but lies. Don't let her poisonous jealousy deceive you, your grace. My daughter was supposed to marry my son, but as you can imagine, Asalia is a better choice. She's trying to get her way. I will let my shield men join your ranks. They're strong, disciplined men. They can help push the front line. If not, they can defend your men against anything Rodovia might throw their way. So, what's it going to be? I can't risk it. I will not risk it, Lena. Curses can be very powerful, and I don't intend to put my daughter through this. I can't believe you let Alita manipulate you. Good luck with Rodovia. You're going to need it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I trust her. <laughs> um. Uh, Lady Lena had some useful information regarding the animal tooth. She mentioned that they can be used as charm necklaces to scare demons away or used by soldiers to aid them in battle. After questioning Lena, we have found out that she sometimes decorates her correspondence with roses. Be Okay, it just says flowers. <sighs> yeah, so she's she's not. Um. Yeah, I I guess th there goes that ally. But oh well. <laughs> Sadani was fine with her chicken being gone because he definitely. Super duper not dead. Extreme, extremely not dead. Nope. Totally not dead. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, Torlando. Your grace, this is I. Torlando the Wonderful. Is your general ready to come with me? Yep. I will send a general to aid, in your, aid you in your quest. This is absolutely fantastic. And you will not be disappointed, for I shall bring you a classic. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this a good use of my money that I'm paying my general? Probably not, but whatever. <laughs> eh, here's the Tony. Is that another pet of yours you've got there, silly pickle? Oh, yeah. What is it this time? A lizard? Yeah, boy. A lizard would be interesting. Hmm, too difficult to take care of. But this, it's just some silly toy. Recruiting agents is far more difficult than you would imagine. Why the agents? What are you planning to use them for, silly pickle? It's to save Lorsulia and Dusty from the evil prince. When my agents are ready, we'll take Lorsulia back home. My agents will be best friends with Dusty. Maybe I'll let you use them one day too if you're good. Silly pickle, I've always not evil. Besides, he's no prince. He's a king now. Atana is really far away, too. Well, those seem like good points, but you do your job, I do mine. Let's see that toy. It's quite unusual, isn't it? It doesn't look like it came from our country. Where did you get it from? Maya gave it to me. It brings luck, she says. I see. Go on for now, Sidani. See if you can find more agents. Yes, father. Your grace. 
I need to see that friend of Asalia's. Uh -huh. Another merchant. Yeah, Grace, normally I wouldn't bother you, but I have no other choice. I'm a merchant delivering goods from one place to the other. I sell trinkets of all sorts. What do you sell? Ah. What wares do you have? Um, paintings, vintage scrolls, historical relics. We even once had, once had the wooden leg of load the spindle shanks. Yeah, it went for a crazy 200 pieces of gold. But none of that matters now, as I was robbed on the way back to my hometown of Pravis. And if I am not mistaken, now you need funds to carry on with your journey? Bear. Correct. Bear, bear. You really know your stuff. Your grace, I would need 23 gold to get back on bear, my feet. Bear. I'm a businessman, so I know how to invest bear, this money. Bear, bear. I will make a profit in no time. I'll repay you as soon as I can. With interest, of course. Like, I probably will get it back, but can I afford to do that, is the question. Like, even at the beginning of the game, they're like, sometimes just scraping by is enough, but like, I don't 100% know if I can afford my bank loan. <laughs> I mean, I think I can, because I'm still technically making money every turn. But I also feel like I'm getting scammed. Because that's, that's a lot of money. <laughs> I wish I could sell some of my supplies, honestly. Okay, well, the, the tea has, you know, finally decided on, on some vengeance. So, oops. Okay. Um, no, sorry, things were out of order there. Um, we, yeah, tea vengeance. I'm, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. <laughs> Or maybe I leave it and then you just watch the sleepy baby? I don't know, one second. <laughs> Just the the eye cracks. <laughs> not decide what I was going to do in the meantime. I feel like I need to keep my money for once, honestly. You will have to find someone else to help you. Hell. What? Why not help a truly honest man? <laughs> Blow the spindle shanks. That was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, also, yeah, it might just be bad. Uh... Eric recognized the unusual to toy Sidani brought to him. To make sure he was remembering it correctly, he decided it would be best to ask Maya about it first. Oh, did I recognize it? Because I didn't recognize it, even if Eric did. 
Yeah, King Eric refused to help the merchant. It appeared that he was just trying to swindle some gold out of the king. Good. Cool. Because, <laughs> yeah, like... Okay. okay. Sweet. Plants. Uh, we gotta talk to Maya. Yes, father? Explain this, Asali. It's a toy? Yes, Sadani got this toy from Maya. I've seen this toy before. Maya, you're not from Baravia, are you? My family, we travel a lot. I was passing by when I heard all the racket here. Is everything all right, darling? Look at this toy, Aurelia. I recognize this. Of course you do. We saw one just like it when we were robbed by Baron 13 years ago. Where did you get this toy from, Maya? I... I my parents travel a lot. We're traveling merchants. They must have bought it somewhere? Your accent, this toy, staying in Davern for a while. You're from Rodovia. Tell me you didn't know about this, Asalia. Father, please, no! Don't do anything to her. It's all my fault. I asked her to visit us. We're preparing for a battle. We're planning to repel an attack. But Rodovians are already in my castle. I... I... Uh-oh. Look what you did to your father! Eric! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> Oh, you're up! Eric, that's twice now! Ah, oh, yeah. uh, Asalia's friend is a Rodovian. We're preparing for war against them, and yet they're already here. Yes, I had a chat with them already. Asalia won't be seeing her friend anymore. I decided not to kill her, but I banished her from the castle. She's just a girl. Perhaps, but what kind of message does it send? Our daughter playing with the enemy in our castle? A rage pass out? Or, or fear? I don't know. Regardless. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't consider letting her stay, did you? She's a child. As I said, Maya is just a girl. Perhaps she's not even aware of the war. What if she's a spy? How would the else would they know Lord Sylvia was married to Ivo? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter anymore, does it? She's gone. Hmm? You collapsing? The two of us not being able to conceive an heir? Break your promise and you shall be punished. Your kingdom will be fertile, but you won't see a successor amongst your offspring. Isn't that how it went? When I promised my firstborn daughter to Bayrin, I didn't do it because I was afraid of the witch. I did it to protect us. At the time, I thought Bayrin was a fool for agreeing to this. Surely a bandit wouldn't be able to travel such a distance, enter the throne room, and dare to ask a king for his daughter? And yet, here we are. I'm telling you, it's the witch. How else could he become king? How else could they threaten a war? How else could you... that you couldn't have a son? You might be right. I will look into the curse, darling. I will see if at least we can do it right away. At least I can help take some of the burden from your shoulders. Thank you. I feel better now. It's time to get up. I guess I'd better see Asalia. Oh boy! <laughs> Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I decided it's time for a Kit Kat song. Halloween candy, baby. I'm gonna summon someone, too. I would like to bring him, but we gotta sort this shit out first. About Maya. I'm sorry, Father, I didn't want to hurt you. I know. I'm fine. Just not that young anymore. Doctors say ten situations can have this kind of effect. I didn't want to upset you, Father. But why the war, Father? Isn't life difficult enough as it is? Why make things harder for one another? I know that Maya is from Rodovia. When she told me, my heart froze up. I knew it meant trouble. But I got to know her. They're not bad, they're just like us. Not barbarians, as Mother likes to call them. They attacked our villages. Of course there are bandits. Thieves? That doesn't mean they're all like this. You're a king, Father. Tell me, did you never have to punish a thief or a bandit who was from Davern? 
well. Just because one person did bad things doesn't mean we're all bad. I just don't understand why we have to fight. They threaten us. They want to take over our castle. What if you just got it all wrong? We can't risk it, Asalia. It's all very complicated. That's a great shame, Father. But who knows? Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Yep. It's a bummer. It sure is. Okay, I think that's all we can do. We're making money real slow right now <laughs> and a lot of that's because of the whole bank thing but i had three gold when i took it so yeah <laughs> um yeah i need the witch Why? Your Grace, we will have the royal trial when Ivo oh, arrives, right before the battle. Oh, this way he can attend the trial himself. Oh, I hope we are going to be ready by then. Oh, we still have some time to prepare, so make sure we do our best to find the perpetrator. Oh, Remember that our agents can be of use to investigate the items we found. I know, Audrey. Everything will be fine. Actually, oh, no, wait. I gotta, I gotta wait for her before in here. Your Grace, I have cleared the fog out of the forest. At least for now. No signs of anyone there, though. Perhaps what they say is true. The spirits of the forest may change people into animals to keep them at bay. Nonetheless, I have fulfilled my task. I suppose. Thank you. Okay. I, 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 I do actually need to get her on the case of the uh, investigation, even if it ends up costing me something else. <laughs> Okay. I should see where we're at with this, so yeah. So... Okay, so... Yeah. Still haven't found an actual S expert. Which is a bit frustrating, but yeah, like I really don't know what the expected timeline is on this. <laughs> At your service, your grace. Um, I I am going to do what Friedrich says. We have a problem with a monster. Aha! So you have your own monster, your grace. Lichage is the name. Hmm, it's a small creature. Imagine a pig but hairy with long claws and horns. They can be dangerous, but for me it would be a piece of cake. You can expect my return shortly. I found this near Bronca. Can you tell me anything about it? I used to buy poison files from merchants to use on monsters. I don't buy them anymore. They never worked. I haven't seen such an elegant file before, though. Looks important. Hmm. Peasant, peasant, merchant. Your Grace, may the gods bless you for your support with the shrine. Many people have hopes for a brighter future. The gods have already showed us signs of their mercy. The weather has been especially good for our crops. We would like to celebrate tonight. We have prepared a party for everyone. In the night, we are going to make a sacrifice to the gods to thank them for their mercy. To show your support, we simply ask of you a su few supplies that we could add to our pile or a witch that could help send us the sacrifice straight to our gods. Uh, I have no problem giving you some supplies. I hope you have a good celebration. These supplies should be enough to keep the gods satisfied. Thank you, your grace. The gods will reward you for your good deeds. Okay, so my witch is occupado, but I do have supplies. Your grace, I bring you news. There seems to be some weird anomaly in the woods up in the north. Magic, perhaps. Colorful lights out of nowhere in the middle of the night. It sounds so frightening. Carry on. Do you know anything more about it? I visited Uborka, the village next to the woods, the morning after one of these disturbances. They said that Lord Joven's children went missing that night. I tell you, magic is involved. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I would send her, but I only have one witch. <laughs> I'm sure the Lord can handle it himself. If not, I would expect him to visit me in person. Oh, yes, of course. Let's just hope you're right and that nothing bad will happen. I'm... I... I hope so. I'm selling packs of supplies, Your Grace. Let me help you with your struggle. After the best, best prices in all of Davern, only 28 gold for 22 supplies. What do you think? 
Okay, he's got Oracle Dust, though. Does that mean I need to throw him in jail? Because that's not an option. I, I don't need it, though. I have supplies, more supplies than gold, so... That would be all, thank you. I understand. I should be back in Devon in a few weeks' time, Your Grace. Until then! Okay. I also still have a bunch of things I need to explore on the map, and I, there's an extra room for an agent that I haven't found yet, and we're only at week 22, and presumably there's 52, and also a bunch of stuff is happening in like eight weeks, and like I don't know what's happening. Eh. <laughs> Sometimes lords are busy and you won't be able to invite them to your throne room. This will be shown with a red arrow next to the lord's profile. Friedrich is bu busy following him, maybe? <laughs> um, okay, I guess it's time to meet Grego, since we haven't yet. more weeks of paying this loan back we have. It's not many. We have almost a thousand people in our army, which doesn't seem like a lot, but we'll see. <laughs> okay. In return from Mr. Torlando, Torlando, your grace. I don't know much about the writing, but this guy seems to know what he's doing. I'm just a little perplexed as to why he asked so many questions about my underwear. <laughs> Only a hundred more weeks. Oh no, no, we have way less than that. I think we have like 30 more weeks. <laughs> Alright, so at least we got our general back. You've sent a pigeon for me? I have. Welcome to our castle. I presume you have heard of, about our upcoming battle with Rodovia? I have, of course. Otherwise I wouldn't be here. I want to help. So here's my deal. I pride myself in my knowledge of art. My collection of paintings is the biggest in the kingdom. I own paintings by the most prestigious artists. Sylvik van Geh, Monowski, Pisak, you get the idea. I've heard recently that you hold a very valuable painting. It would be perfect for my collection. The Stork by Sylvik van Geh. I, um... Don't say anything yet. You haven't heard the rest of my deal. I offer, can offer you 80 well-trained men and three supplies. Wow, that painting must mean a lot to you. Of course it does. It needs to vanish from this castle. I mean, it'll look better in my gallery alongside the others. Imagine the painting is hanging somewhere. Or I imagine the painting is hanging somewhere, so I'll give you time to take it down. That is, of course, if you agree to my deal. I would li like to pick it up personally. So invite me whenever you are ready. I'll think about it. I quite like this painting. It does look nice in the bedroom. I will think about your offer. Of course. Take your time. Send me a pigeon whenever you're ready to talk. Take a look at the drawings on this letter, Grego. Could you tell me anything about them? These plants look like rowan trees. These trees grant protection from evil witches and their curses. Many kingdoms use these trees to build children's cradles. So a lord who wants protection against witches and curses probably wrote this letter. Thank you, Grego. This is very useful information. I have found this near Bronco. Can you tell me anything about it? It's a used glass vial. I'm not sure what more I could tell you, Your Grace. If you did the tooth... Do you have beasts in your dungeons, Eric? You would better find a hunter to deal with this. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I accidentally clicked that again. Um, hmm. This is Donnie has a fox now? God damn it, child. <laughs> oh, man. Your grace, your general stayed up at all, all night in our village, and this scared the witch. But Babushka is back again. Her men on horses, they came. They took over three villages, your grace. They're forcing everybody to feed enormous amounts of food to their children. We're scared she's coming for them, your grace. She wants to eat them. You must do something. They're there right now. Please send your men. They're in three villages. The red horse is in Oborka. The black horse is in Jablanka. And the white horse is in Belka. I will see what I can do. Your Grace, I have marked those locations on the map for you. If you open the map, you will be able to point an agent to these locations. Thank you, Your Grace. I knew we could count on you. Okay, well, these two aren't going to need a general, probably, but maybe I'll still wait. 
A credo. Sadani, what on earth is that fox doing in the throne room? <laughs> it's my new agent. Uh, yes, sir. Boy. Back with the pets, are we? Well, you can't exactly send toys on a mission. They don't understand anything, no matter how much you explain. Besides, this one was hard to recruit. It took time. Why hisser? Why have you called it that? Oh, that's easy, because he hisses. Hiss. Audrey, is it safe? Is, it, is keeping a fox around a good idea, Audrey? Of course it is. He shouldn't cause too much trouble, your grace. Ha! I... Hisser can stay. Yes! Hisser will be it will soon be known everywhere. First in Davern for his noble deeds, then in Atana once we take Lord Sulia and Dusty back. Perhaps he could compete with Dragon Slayer Noxy one day. Oh, oh once he's passed his initiation, he'll be sent for quests. Hiss. This, this child is very much a character. <laughs> How are you feeling, darling? I'm worried about you. You fainted twice now. What if it gets worse? Who will oh, take over the throne? I think we need to make a bigger effort, darling. Perhaps Audrey is right. We need to try harder. I feel like I'm failing my duty as a queen. At this time, this age, a king should have a son. Uh, you don't need to feel guilty. The fates clearly have other plans for us. We have three beautiful, healthy daughters. It's not your fault we don't have a successor. Thank you, darling. Perhaps, perhaps you can meet me later tonight, once everyone's gone. I have some ideas how to make things more interesting. Maybe it will help. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> that boy. I should do something to make her feel better. Maybe some sort of small gift to remind her I love her, no matter what. Okay, but what could I... What could I do? Um... Okay. Mm-hmm. The queen is worried about Eric's health. She knows that they're running out of time to have a rightful successor to the throne. Sidani has a fox now. Feeling for sorry for Sidani, with her bad luck finding a new pet, the king let her keep hisser. At least no one could sit on him. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I would love to have helped, but the witch is busy. Okay. Or Uporka, Jablanka, and Belka. Very busy. Oh, there's a lot going on here. But he'll be back soon enough. I don't know if we should be inviting anyone or not. And if we did, who it would be. Sir Friedrich isn't with us yet, so Joven's not gonna do shit for us. feels weird that I can't ask Ada about the investigation stuff at all. Uh, okay, so we, we've found all that we can about the letter. Still looking for an expert on the tooth. I uh, found the expert for the file, presumably is the witch, uh, but we'll see what she says at the end of the week. And yeah, I don't, I don't know if there is anyone to invite. Apparently I can't even invite Ada right now, which is interesting. Sure, let's just talk to Violet, because we're not. <laughs> Any other reason, people to talk to or whatever. Oh. Extra long loading screen. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, boy. <laughs> You're tickling me. Stop it. <laughs> hmm. 
nothing's going to work from this side. Oops. Oh, there you go. It's not that easy. Oh, right, I didn't technically look for a present for her. Oops. Oh, no! <laughs> the child! Ah! Nathalia's put something in my bedding! I went to sleep and now everything's itchy! Does the fox have fleas? No, oh, no. It's just some nettle powder. It'll pass in a bit. What has gotten into you? Where are you getting these ideas from, Asalia? I can't talk to Mai anymore, so I need to find other ways to stay entertained. That isn't fair on your sister. Help her get rid of this and be gone. We will talk about this, Azalia. Ugh, and there's what? And that's why there isn't an heir to the throne. Ugh, maybe we can try it at the time. Perhaps we can still try tonight? Maybe. Okay, we are done paying our loan now, which is very good, very good. Uh, six weeks until Rodovia. Uh, I, I need to go look at my painting. I forgot to do that. We're trying to make your brother! Right? Right? Ah, got it. I need to invite Grego to give him that painting. I do miss this stork. I I really want to Google the stork thing. Because I feel... Like, I don't know. Make extra gold if I give it to Lord Grego. I mean, I feel like the army is the more important part, but... Also, he's not actually offering gold as far as being an ally, so... Hmm. I am conflicted about the stork painting. guy was like, it needs to get out of the castle. I'm, I mean, it would look better in my place, right? So, like, that's really suspicious. <laughs> Your grace, I don't know what's going on, but when I arrived at Jablanca, it was shrouded with black storm clouds. The thunder and winds were very strong. It's strange, because there isn't a drop of rain anywhere else. I dealt with the man on the black horse. He was acting very oddly. He was shouting words in some foreign language. That does not surprise me at all, considering all the other things I've heard from the peasants. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sketchy. Your grace, I found a match to the substance in this file. The substance in the file to the poison used on Talus. So it's quite certain that this file was used to poison Talus. But what would it be doing near Bronco? I don't know, Your Grace. Thank you for this. It will be useful in our investigation. I ain't ever been to Branker. Looks pretty nasty, though. Okay, well, that's... Sure. Why not? 
Your grace, there is no trace of lichage in the forests. So I thought, as clever as I am, I know where to look for their lairs. In old tree trunks. Here, take this bloody horn as proof, proof of my courageous deed. Ah, there's Friedrich. Akibi? Ha! You couldn't have defeated the beast as there was no monster in the forest. You fell for our ropes. All your tales are lies, just like this one. What? Me? A liar? No way, I brought you the proof, didn't I, your grace? Uh, has anyone seen you slay the beast? Is there any witness who could vouch for you? No, I'm afraid not. But no sane person would go that deep into the forest, especially if there's a fierce beast around. The dragon tale isn't exactly original, is it? So Friedrich says you retell the story, just changing a few details each time. Very well. The cat is out of the bag. At least I don't have to put on the show anymore. It can be very tiring at times, if I'm perfectly honest. People want to see this amazing knight, this dragon slayer. So I show them what they want to see. The charge and the proof? A stag. At least my stories don't hurt anyone, and I don't have a drinking problem. If you have something to say, say it to my face. I hear what the wind is spreading. Problems with rum. Wife walking around with a black eye. You don't believe him, do you, your grace? He's a liar. He's making all this up. You used to be recognized around the courtyards, but the memory is fading. That's it. Draw your sword. Let's see if you're more than just a trickster. Uh-oh. Enough. It won't have any blood spilled in this chamber. He wouldn't match my skill anyway. In your current state, you would probably stab yourself. Your grace, of course it's just a hoax, but it doesn't matter. The message is what's important. The story warms people's hearts. It gives hope for better tomorrow. People always think they see basilisks, lesions, strigas. Well, it's usually a fox, stray dog, or a cat, even. If I bring them a boar skin or a deer horn and tell them it was a monster, they sleep better at night. They can get back to work, feeling safe. And if I make extra gold on the side, so what? Aren't we all frauds? Kings, for example. People always come to see the king because he knows everything. They expect you to give wise advice. They'll put their, the greatest trust in your words. But as yourself, do you always know what to do? Um, I see your point. I could use some peace of mind, knowing there's no monsters in the forest. Exactly. Your grace, we surely can't let him spread more lies. I won't allow this. If you let Noaski join your banner, then I won't stand by your side. Oh, I won't join if he joins. With his in in intemperance, I won't stand next to him during battle. In all the turmoil, he could stab me and no one would even know. Joke, a good guy. He trains with me. It will make sure to send my recommendation. Don't forget that. Ugh. I don't know, because I can't open the allies panel, and I don't remember what Joven has to offer. Uh, I, I think I spelled these wrong. Slayer it is. He's bringing people joy and hope. Uh, and what battle experience does he TV. have? Never stood in a real battle. Thank you, your grace. I will reach out to my contacts. I won't disappoint you. Oh, will someone clean up this mess? Um... Yeah, I don't know, man. It might have been, honestly, the whole punching his wife implication is very concerning to me, so. <laughs> Fortune teller. Is that, is that her? I don't know if that is. Peasant, we have nowhere else to seek help from, Your Grace. Bandits rule over our village. They said they would slit our throats if we came to you, but we can't let them eat our food, drink our wine, and use our women anymore. They're well equipped and us farmers don't know how to fight. We don't stand a chance. Please send your best general before it's too late. 
sure. You did right by coming to me. A general will head your way immediately. These scum will pay for what they've done. You have my word. Thank you, Your Grace. We knew we could count on you. I'd better go back home quick. Barricade the doors and wait for everything to end. Bob Ross ass villager. <laughs> the painting. Uh, so yeah, file is definitely full of poison. Greetings, my grace. My grace? Interesting. May I come closer? Hmm, yes, hmm, I see, I see. You have a very interesting aura, Eric. Let me read your future. You can see it's going to be very interesting. Yes, I see. Do you not believe in fortune, my grace? I've been reading to many kings, yes. And usually I am correct. Just between you and I, I I'm promise you, I tell you things about you. And they will be the truth. And then you will pay. Otherwise, you don't have to, yes? Fine. Go ahead. Hmm, aha, all right. I see, yes. I see you had a long journey in your life. I see... Hip no, Hypnoes? <laughs> a patrol department of sorts? And you're dead. Oh no, no, that's too far into the future. Let's go back a little. Your journey. Difficult, but you were happy. Surrounded by those who love you. But I see they were difficult. They affected your relationships. Some relationships were strengthened, but some were crumbled. All right, let me shuffle my cards. And do keep looking into my eyes. Your aura will tell me when to stop. Yes, yes, keep shuffling. All right, I think this is, that is it. Let's see. Oh, the fool. But don't worry, it doesn't mean you are one, of course. Of course not. It means you are doing something new. A new cycle. That you are requiring others to trust you with it. Yes. Hmm, aha, fine. You might be trusted, but you must be patient. Next card is... Justice. Yes, of course, I can see that. The need of balance and discernment. You will be seeking peace, which means it is likely something will disturb you soon. Well, all right, last card is... Hanged man. It means that you're trying to achieve something big, yes. Something that leaves you feeling stressed and unhappy. You will continue trying to achieve that thing. There will be difficulty. It means everything you know will be turned upside down. A new, info a new information. Maybe good, maybe bad. That is all my grace. That was vague as fuck. <laughs> um. Oh, do I give her money? What do? <laughs> it's a shame Esme isn't here because Esme had many opinions. And most of them were to help, like, to generally help me not get scammed, so. <laughs> Probably afford it, is a thing. Fuck it. I'm doing terrible, stupid things. Maybe? I don't know. Like, just cause, like, that felt like a really bad cold read. <laughs> um. But also, I don't really have that much to lose. I mean, I have 14 gold to lose, I guess. Whatever, fuck it, I don't care. Thank you for the reading. Here's your compensation. Well, thank you. I told you I'm correct. Goodbye, my grace. Sure. <laughs> if I regret it, then I regret it. Cool, it's fine. Mm-hmm. And that's all, apparently. 
got to invite Grego back. I think I'm gonna give him the painting. It's just a painting, right? I don't know. Well, so I don't know how to find something nice for Aurelia. What you did to Stadi the other night? I don't. Next time I promise I'll use a gentler, gentler solution than yellow powder. As? I just miss seeing Maya. She always came up with the best things to do. You know she shouldn't be here. I know, but I just miss her. Why don't you play with someone from the castle? They're all boring. They just want to talk about the dance lessons or the correct way to behave at the table or how cutlery should be placed. It's awful. You proved your resource. I'm sure you can come up with something interesting to do. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe I can bully the servants a bit. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> cool. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh. Okay, I can't pick a rose for my wife. Purple flowers attract a lot of bees? Okay, cool. Bees. I can pet the, 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 the fox puppy. Do not interrupt our training! Okay. How dare I pet the fox? Wait, what? There's. Huh. Oh. So, okay, I took her wool. Maybe I need to run around clicking more shit. I don't know. So I got questions to su sus suspects to question about the file. And still need to find an expert on the tooth. You can make something out of this for Aurelia. I just need to find some needles and a piece of fabric. Okay. Ha! This is going surprisingly well. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay. Is, is this... Nasty old fabric? Yeah, sure. Ta-da! This was actually quite enjoyable. No wonder Aurelia spent so much time doing this. Hopefully she'll like it. I made this trap tapestry for Aurelia. It's a portrait of me and my queen. The love of my life. We've been through a lot together. I hope she likes it. There you go. Figured out how to do something nice for my wife. <laughs> I made something for you. It's nothing much, and it isn't even done well. But I wanted you to have something to remember, for that to remember that I'll always love you. You are everything to me. I would not be able to run this kingdom without you. I love you, sweetheart. Oh, Eric, I love you too. This is beautiful. Well, all the threads are sticking out. This doesn't matter. I love it. I will have it framed and keep it forever. Everything is going to be fine. Oh, honey, I know. Aw. That was nice. Okay, um... The map. I don't know if I can send the witch to these ones or not. She might, like, fucking die? I, I don't know. has to say about that. And that should do it, I guess. Army upkeep getting kind of brutal. Okay. Stand still out for another week. Is it the bandits? 
Umbrella Asia. Your Grace, I've encountered a group of children in the forest. They were looking for the fern flower. It seems like they didn't know they wouldn't find a thing this time of year. Luckily, nothing bad happened to them, so I took them to their parents and they thanked me with what they could. Some supplies and their words of gratitude. Alright, cool. Your Grace, I have a painting. I took down the stork painting just like you asked. Oh, that's amazing! Thank you very much! It'll look wonderful with the rest of my collection. Ha <laughs> ha! So, is our deal done? Is that all? Of course. Did you not think I'd keep my word? You can count on my army to stand by you in the battle. I'm sure you'll win anyway. If you have any other paintings, I will gladly buy them. I'll see what else I can find. Okay, so I could theoretically just get gold that way. But yeah. Thank you for visiting. Goodbye, your grace. Oh, Ada's here. Interesting. How's the army? Well, we have, we now have 1,037 dudes. So, could be worse? <laughs> Your grace, it's nice to see you again. I bring you some news. I heard you were selling some paintings to Lord Vesemet. He was bragging about doing some deal with you. Yes, he visited me. I'm not sure what your stance on this is, but I just wanted to let you know. Lord Vesemary is no art collector. He's an artist and an egomaniac. He buys these beautiful artworks and burns them. It's a great shame because they're very valuable. And these artists definitely deserve recognition. But he believes his artwork is only... Only his artwork is true art. I suppose just bear in mind that if you give him a painting, it'll be burned. Of course. Thank you for letting me know. I must talk to him about it. Okay. Must I? It's the art lord. And I still can't ask her about any of the uh, investigation stuff. Hmm. Really appreciated the thought of my mediocre little tapestry thing. Your grace, a strong gale has descended on our village. There are no casualties yet, but the gale keeps coming and getting stronger. Our homes have suffered much damage already. I ran to you as quick as I could. Can we count on your help? Mm. Could send the witch there, but I think I can just spare the supplies. Supplies will help you stay warm, fed, and healthy. It should be enough to keep you going until you patch up your village. I couldn't agree more. Thank you, Your Grace. Oh, well. Your Grace, Your Grace, they're after me. Please help. I have a little bakery on the market. I make cakes and the like. Pretty good ones, too. I've also run a little additional business on the side. Folks call it Oracle Dust. It can help you see the future, they say. Everything was going well until local crooks came along and started demanding more and more dust. They threatened me when I refused. They told me they would take my little girl if I don't bring them more. I don't know what to do about them, your grace. I have no gold gold to buy more dust, nor would I want to have nor I want to have anything to do with it anymore. All I wanted was to make some extra coin. Um <sighs> Can't give you my general. Really don't want to give you money. Cause you didn't luck out on being a drug dealer. But also, your daughter doesn't deserve that? Whatever, I'm not helping. Even if I sent a general after them, they'll probably have friends that would find you and your family. You shouldn't have been selling oracle dust. It attracts bandits too easily. I suggest you pack your bags and leave Davern, or they will not stop harassing you. But, Your Grace, I have a business here. I can't just leave it all. I guess you're right, though. I'll pack my bags. My, my wife warned me this wouldn't end well. Well, your wife was right. I don't know why the fuck you didn't listen to her, dumbass. Okay, uh, is there any conversations I need to have? Apparently not. Come on back here, buddy. I am kind of tempted to send the witch over here. I'm like, a little afraid of getting her killed or something, but I don't even know if that's possible, so. I still don't know what to do. 
do as far as the two. I should invite Joe in again as well. Next week, I guess. Like, I don't really know what this is. Like, is that just the maximum amount I'll ever have to pay? Because that would be great. <laughs> but I doubt it. Boys. <laughs> Sadali? I'm, I'm fine, Father! <laughs> I love this kid. Oh, Sadali. I'd better check on her later. <laughs> just come running through the throne room chasing a fox. Oh, sneezy baby. No, it's okay. Relax. Big stretch. Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, that child just wants a zoo. I mean, yeah, except for the fact that they keep dying. <laughs> It's not gonna stick around to be in the zoo for very long. <laughs> but yeah, Sadani is a very good character. <laughs> we got rid of the outlaws taking over the village, your grace. They will not cause any more problems. This should also give a warning to any other bandits who rebel against their king. The people were very thankful for your help. Good, good. Your grace, I'm back from Belka. I must say, something very strange is happening. It was covered in snow when I arrived. But when I dealt with the man on the white horse, all the frost just melted. I'm not sure what that was about, but it seems like whatever I did helped. Thank you. Hopefully this won't happen again. Uh -huh. Now, Dovin came of his own free will. Sweet. Your grace. I've heard what you need those paintings for. Lady Ada told me what you were doing with those paintings. You lied to me. You're not an art collector. Eric, I can explain. These works people buy are not true art. They're nothing but fraud. These paintings do not reflect the true nature of the subject. They have been painted without a reference. Artists call them impressionist. In reality, they just can't paint. My artwork is show shows each subject in their purest state. These artists only exaggerate features to make them look better. It devalues my work, so I just dispose of the paintings. I pay for the paintings so I can do whatever I wish with them. I choose to burn them, so what? It harms no one. You are disrespecting other artists. You can't burn other artists' work. Besides, I don't see how that's helping you in any way. Your Grace, I think perhaps we should let this slide. Let's not forget Grego is our ally. Okay, bye, baby. <laughs> it's almost supper time for her, so. I can do whatever I want with the things I buy, and if I buy them from people and get rid of them, then there's less and less of that fraud around us. If influential people only know true artwork, then others will also only buy true artwork. Eventually no one will buy from these artists, and they'll buy from my paintings instead. Oh, I see. I suppose you can do whatever you want, just don't get me involved in this. That's all. Thank you for visiting. Goodbye. <laughs> Your Grace, Sir Friedrich is dead. Lord Joven is responsible for ending his life. I don't regret this decision. Not one bit. Why? What made you stoop to this? He had it coming. Friedrich was an abusive scumbag. Lana, his wife, has endured a lot. You denying him and going with the Dragon Slayer. He got crazy mad. He drank and drank. He got furious. I had a feeling he would react this way. A master with a sword, but that makes things worse when he's not in control. I thought you respected Sir Friedrich. You didn't want to join my banner unless he did. He trained me. Sometimes he would be completely drunk, and I saw what he was like to Lana. A veteran. Now a faded star, but once a real legend. I couldn't bear to watch him abuse her, but he was of a higher rank. I wanted him to join you first, as I didn't want to do anything that would upset him. I didn't want Lana to suffer for my decision in case he didn't agree with it. I didn't realize that something else would set him off anyway. He's al He always got abusive when he drank. Everyone knew about it. The guards, peasants, noble knights. Right. Friedrich would beat Lana up and I wouldn't let her wouldn't let her out. Her aunt wouldn't let her out. No one lifted a finger to help. Everyone was too scared to do anything. I couldn't watch. 
Go ahead, kill me if you must. But you know Friedrich deserved this. If you spare me, I will join your armies. I will aid you with my main force of 120 men. I will also offer my pikemen to join your battle. They can deal with any cavalry Rodovians may come with. I will also give you five gold. Of course. I mean, yeah, if you're... If I'm, I'm all down for murdering uh, abusive fuckheads, so you'll be free. It is a sad day for the knighthood, oh but I understand why you did this, Joey. Your deeds are forgiven, and you shall serve Davin in the upcoming battle. Uh, I suggest you stay out of sight for a while, just in case. Uh, no. Thank you, your grace. Sweet. There you go. Everything turns out all right in the end. Just call it community service? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, the whole painting thing is just so, just pure douchebaggery, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, we technically haven't lost an ally, actually, because I Friedrich wasn't my ally at this point, because I didn't choose him. Your grace, everyone is gone. All the townsfolk disappeared from Oborka. Poof. One day the village was always was as always, and the next it's a ghost town. I told you we should have investigated the magic anomaly in the woods. But who knows? Maybe it's not too late to set things right. Yeah, okay. Sure. I'm sorry that I couldn't send the witch the first time. I had a reason. She was busy. <laughs> You're right. Oh, yeah. I will send out a witch to see what's going on. At last, let's just hope we can find them. Hopefully. Uh, like, seriously, I would have said the witch the first time. She, I just literally couldn't, so... Whatever. Tea. Your place! All of my fields are flooded! Are the gods have punished Tea. us! Nothing will grow anymore! Baba, no potatoes, no beetroots, no parsley! No, We've been struggling with this for months now! We're praying to the gods for better weather every day! We're sick of eating conserves, your grace! My children are starting to go hungry! I was wondering if there's anything your witch could do to help the growth. I mean, I'd give you money, I have 61, and I'd give you supplies, I have 37, but my witch is busy. She certainly cannot change the weather for you. We have, we'd have we have sunshine all year round if we could do that. Just be patient and try digging a ditch around your fields for the water to drain. Of course, your grace. I don't know what I was thinking. Thank you for your advice. I guess our jobs will only consist of digging from now on. I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> She's busy. <laughs> Your grace, rats, they're everywhere. They took over my barn. There's hundreds of them. I can't milk my cows or feed my horses, your grace. I had to walk here. How can I go to the market if I have nothing to sell? Okay, well, um... I really wanted to send the general elsewhere. And two weeks is a lot, kind of. Considering where we're at. But yeah, sure. I think. <laughs> Next time, remember to leave traps in the corners. Even if you don't see any rats yet, they need they breed very fast. Oh, good idea, your grace. I knew you would be able to share your wisdom with me. Thank you for your help. Yeah, I don't know. I, I maybe shouldn't have sent the general for that, but also, I don't know. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um... So, I, like, I think the little green thing means that there's, like, still something to do there, so... I don't know. Herk. But yeah, I want to get that last village with the babushka horses. You know? Pat Pat. Little hisser buddy. Your grace. What's going on with you and hisser? I hope you can keep him under control. Um, I can, your grace. Why would you say I can't? I have seen you chasing Hisser all across the castle. Oh, yes, this is just part of his training. I'm just making sure no one can catch him while he's on a mission. He's very fast, your grace, really. Did you not find supper there yet, baby? Because it's not supper time yet? Oh, she's licking her lips. Maybe she did. Welcome back. Howdy do, baby girl. Where are you going? Child! And she crashes into Alex. Hi. Hello. What is he? Pretty lady. 
Um, okay. He's a perfect agent. A right silly pickle. Please stay safe. And if you need help with him, don't be afraid to ask. Won't you take him away? Of course not. I'll help if I can. Fine, father. I don't need help. Okay. What? Yeah? I have not paid enough tribute to the child. To the little baby. To the baby. Um, I think we're gonna get maximum two more weeks. Uh, today. So, not too bad, not too bad. Rodovia comes in three weeks. Ugh. Okay, that's rough. And now all of a sudden I have way more gold than supplies, so. Yeah, like, what does RB.fed mean? I guess it just means I lose some dudes. Just one week. Just one week. The, the, am I rating to- oh god. <laughs> I wanted to, but I kind of forgot Big was because I haven't been able to raid up until this point. Okay, um, that's a very good point. <laughs> and if I am, because it's also at quarter after six, right? Because I can't stream until six if I want to do that and also eat dinner. <laughs> so, good question. <laughs> Thanks, friend. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, that's- mm -hmm. That's, that's maybe a good point. Maybe I need to go cram some food in my face um, and, then, and then hop into raid. Because I, I forgot that that was an option. Because, yeah, I think this might be, like, the only chance that I'm going to have to raid on a Sunday for a while. <laughs> and, you know, since I started raiding with you guys. So, um, yep. Thank you for asking, because I, seriously, my brain is a sieve. Um. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Um, yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> Why is there a dead fox? Why is there a dead fox right here? Fucking Why? Why does everybody keep killing this poor kid's pets? I like- it was a fox! He was a little baby! I pet him and we were friends! You did hear Lily meowing, Delgar. She is back now. And people keep killing Sadani's fucking animals! <laughs> Please stop killing my daughter's animals. For real! First the chicken! Then someone sat on the hedgehog, which I guess was technically before the chicken, and ugh, god damn it. Why do people keep killing my pets? Or my kid's pets? <laughs> not fair hey baby okay um yeah i need i need to go cram food in my face if i want to raid and i think i do because again i'm not gonna get this opportunity super often so i feel like i probably should um i i feel a little bit bad because i was probably gonna watch the doctor who special with boyfriend but oh well and nelgar you think they got the hint of the first 10 pets they killed nelgar you gotta go to bed anyway i mean yeah yeah that's fair uh you blame me for keeping you up. I mean, this could be both an excuse and not an excuse for you pretty much every time that I stream. So, ugh, whatever, man. Oh, good baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. She's so cute. Um, okay, but yes, I, I am having very much fun um, with this game. It's good. <laughs> and Vanquist blames Nelgar for keeping Nelgar up. Yeah. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> On other days, I stop an hour earlier. Okay, that's a good point. I do. I do usually. That is true. Um, but yeah, I also... I, I did... I, I forgot about the <laughs> clutches pearls. <laughs> um, yep. I don't know. I think that's that's kind of the whole thing. I don't know if I have anything else to add. Um, oh, Sid's up playing Lethal Company, which could be fun. Uh, I have heard good and or chaotic things. She has only been up for 10 minutes. They haven't actually started playing the game yet. So let, let's go bother Sid. Because she, she popped in to say hi earlier as well. Um, and then, yeah, I, I will be back on Tuesday. Um, I We might do WoW on Tuesday instead of this. Uh, but we might also do WoW on Wednesday instead of this. I don't know. Regardless, we'll be playing more of this because this is fun and I want to see where this is going. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of the whole thing. I don't have anything else to add today. Um, 
yeah thanks for being here i appreciate you hope you're having fun with this also people need to stop killing my fucking child's pets uh and let's go say hi to sit <laughs> oh god okay well yes i will thank you for being here i will see you guys all on tuesday Let's go watch some crazy chaos over on Sid's channel. I've, I haven't played Lethal Company, but I've heard things. Nel Nelgar, maybe you should continue your playthrough now instead of sleeping. Considering it's a Sunday, I would recommend the sleeping instead, friend. <laughs> but yes, I will see you guys next time. Love y'all. Bye bye <laughs>